And this is the Verge cast where we discuss the, what's happening. What is this? What is going on? Yeah. What's going on with this right here? What is, <laughs> what is going on up here? What is happening? Your hair with my was hair out of right control. Uh, what is going on here? What's going on with my hair? You, what is you. going on with my hair? Very all honesty. What, what's going hi, on? Hi, hi, I can already tell I'm having hair problems. I've been off. I've missed. Oh, what is going on here? Well, what's yeah, going on? What is going on with this hair? What is happening with this weird tentacle hair? I got to do something about this. Yeah. I got some hair stuff going on here. This is an insane. How do they get my hair to do that? How much lift you got on that? Like an inch and a half? I've got, I look like a young Republican. I look like Kramer. I got like a double <laughs> Superman curl here. Just to be up twice as super. <laughs> I am so desperately in need of a haircut. It's bigger than usual. You got some volume, I man. didn't put any product in it. You should use mousse. <laughs> Sorry, can we get that shot back up? I just need to fix whatever's going on. This is what happens when I put nothing in my hair. My hair is doing some really weird curl stuff here. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, screw it. Hey, and welcome to the 100th Verge cast. Uh, uh, Let me ask you, what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on? Actually, right now... It's pretty good. Now there's this thing. Is, oh, God. I don't know what this is. <laughs> welcome to the 100th Verge cast. Uh, uh, we made it to 100. I'm Josh Topolsky. I'm Neil Patel. And, uh, and we have a very special guest today, uh, Paul Miller. Yeah. Now, look, we wanted to get Paul in the studio... We tried to get him in the studio. Uh, needless to say, we could not get him in the studio. <laughs> it's not, it's not um, easy to get Paul, Paul anywhere. Paul is, should be appearing on Skype magically. Hey. There he is, Paul Miller from uh, Colorado, from the what appears to be sunny Colorado. Can you hear us? Hello? Yes, yes I can. Oh, there oh, he is. God. Oh, thank God. Paul. Yeah, we got it. Welcome got to the Vergecast. Cast. You're back, man. So exciting. 100 it's episodes. It's good to have you back. Did you ever think, can we get his volume up a little bit? Did you ever think that you would make it, that we would make it to 100 and that you would be dialing in on Skype? Well, yes. <laughs> yes. That's how you always saw it happen. From the first moment, I see this going. Oh, God. And then I'm, I'm seeing, and Josh is here. Uh, uh, what is going on? Skype. No, come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Is he back? Can we get him back? Can we get him? What's guys? What's happening? Working on it. That's great. That's, That's good like stuff. Super That's, cool. You know, it's it's uh, it's really a testament to I think the high quality production that we run I think it's here. Testament to Colorado. I'm just gonna blame. You're blaming the. the I'm you're blaming, blaming the entire state of you're Colorado. Blaming state. Okay, okay, okay. So look, we're gonna hold on. So obviously it's disappointing. Wait, how? What's our ETA? We've lost Paul. Yeah. Do we know how how long this is gonna take? Are we? A minute. Okay, cool. Just sorry. You know what? The internet just doesn't work anymore. Okay, so look, we're uh, going to get Paul back. Don't worry about it. Um, we will. But I think we should, we should get into the day's news. There's a lot to Because there's about. news to talk about today on the 100th You've Verge cast. Think. The Nexus 5 has been announced. Yeah. Google's Kit new KitKat 4.4. It's a thing. Horrible. Let's just make it 5. Just stop torturing us. Yeah. Uh, and we have one here with us. In the studio, yeah. I'm holding. What is that? What is that? What's going on? You, you hear this music? What? What is happening? <laughs> Get in here! Get in. Stop looking so proud of on? yourself. Is there, is there fog? <laughs> Are we? Is that something burning, or is that a fog machine? <laughs> Paul started a fire. Now he's leaving. It doesn't read on the on the camera, but there's something. There's, fog. there's, there's a, some type of smoke back here. Should I be worried? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Miller. Josiah Hampton Miller, Miller the <laughs> third. <laughs> I wanted to add it. I think you need another name there. You don't know this, but Paul's sitting in the studio with us right now. Yeah, it was all an elaborate hoax. It was a ruse. Right. It was all an elaborate hoax. You guys sold it pretty well. To trick you. Ruse. I got I to tell you, both... You got a little upset. You were like, I, why couldn't well, I be there? Well, both during the rehearsal and then this time, I thought we dropped a Skype call. Both times. Yeah, it really, it really worked out. Um, yes, we played a cruel prank on you. Paul was here all along in studio with us in New York City, the greatest city ever in the history of the world. That's yes. right. And currently also. And Paul Miller is... Here, He's Paul. Here. Look, I even have a drink. Here. Welcome. Cool you guys. have a soda waited for you. <laughs> yeah. I am drinking whiskey. Cheers, guys. Well yes, cheers. Hey. Cheers to 100. To 100? 100? Yeah. Also, by the nice. way, The Verge is cheers two years old. Oh, the yeah, The Verge uh, hey. tomorrow at mid the stroke of midnight yeah. tonight, Hall uh, Hallow's Eve. Yeah. 
the all, Verge, all Hallows all Eve. Hallows Eve, not just Hallows Eve. No. That's like what's that? Uh, the Verge turns two. Yeah, two which years. Is nuts. Two years young. Uh, two years of of sweet, delicious, delectable, succulent, sexy, wonderful news, and uh, and uh, and fun. And yeah, new, news and fun. We actually should that's change. Our, that's, that's our, that's our tagline. This is the verge. Uh, uh, Let me see some reactions. I just want to see some. I should, by the way, should not never have had a, a no, computer. No, I don't know why. We I'm going to shut happen. it in a second. It's like we want a hundred episodes. Shut it. Knowing this was a bad idea, and on yeah. one hundred, you show up. I'm done. All right. I don't need a computer. You know why? I have the computer of love that's being generated by you guys in this yeah. room right mm -hmm. now. Mainframe mm -hmm. of the mainframe of devotion and yeah. and uh, friendship, uh, which is powering <laughs> and I think I think a GPU of action. I think in year three, this this computer is going to go quantum. Paul, you look really good. Let me just tell you. I mean, Paul's like reverse aging. Yeah. I, he, I saw him earlier today, and I was like, are you, you're like Benjamin Buttoning. Yeah. 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 It's disturbing For Benjamin and Benjamin Buttoning into like a really like, like well put Brad together. Pitt. Yeah. yeah. Brad yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Gonna Starring be, Brad Pitt. You're going to like <laughs> coast into that. Directed second, by David second. Fincher. Wait yeah. a second. Is Benjamin Button played by Brad Pitt? Yes. I've never seen it. I yeah. just know that he goes from old to young. I only read it. I does he actually go back to the, does he go back into the womb? What do you mean? Like, does he go up inside a woman? No, he's, he's, <laughs> bored. he's bored as an old man. Right. Yeah. How does he get out? He dies, right? He's born as a tiny old man. Oh. This is all... You know, I'm sorry. I think they might have stretched... <laughs> I think they might have stretched logic and the truth oh, you of mean this Benjamin Button story. F. F. Scott Fitzgerald, what famed is, I'm not novelist. so worried yeah. about my hair right now, but I do seem to be sweating, or as the Jews call it's, it, schwitzing. Wow. Uh, wow. I'm a Jew. I can say that. Can you? I mean, I was raised a Jew, but you know how I feel about God. Yeah, I drifting love, in and I out of orbit. Him. I love him. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> just for Paul. Just for Paul. Uh, anyhow, we're back on the Verge cast. Paul, what have you been doing? We've missed you. I have so been, far, this is this is the worst Verge. Yeah, cast it's ever, already deeply I've off the I've been rails. taking care of uh, of children. My my brothers three. Like taking care of them? Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, no. <that's> awful. <laughs> what do the Jews call that, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, no. Let's no! hear. It. <laughs> no! Let's hear. Let's hear more about your. You've been. You've been a, a, a caretaker. Of and children. I haven't killed a single child. <laughs> okay. Just so quickly. No, my oh, brother good. was is uh, uh, was deployed with the Air Force. Can I get a little? Can I get a little paper towel months. or something? I'm. Just, yeah. I'm just really. And so can I get a sedative maybe and something really stronger to drink? And maybe the air could be turned up, Ross. <sighs> Yeah? yeah, I mean down, down. So it's cooler, cold, cold. cold. <laughs> Your air can be turned cold. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, you've been taking care of children in Colorado. Yes, my brother's children right. while he was deployed with the Air Force. And Is he's he back. And he's back. He was in. Uh, hold on, don't tell me. <clears throat> he was in Qatar. Yep. Yeah. It's the one thing I've remembered. Qatar, you Qatar. remember my middle name? I was surprised about that. Josiah. Yeah. 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 And, and then I added uh, what was it? Hamilton, Hamilton, Hampton, Hampton, Hampton. 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 <laughs> Paul, Paul, Josiah, Hampton. All right. Well, I mean. Paul, Thank you. we've missed you. Thank you. I've missed Although you not guys. not for this immediate detour oh. into insanity. Right. That oh. I have not missed. Right. But in general, well, you, you know, missed. it's a whole package. And I will say that. Uh, That's right. You take the good, you take the bad. Our listeners, the have bitter missed and the you. sweet. I've missed the and, listeners. Like to the point where they've produced what I would characterize as fan fiction. Fanfic. Paul fanfic. Uh, slash fic or just just regular. And he went right there. Slash fic. Slash fic is the sexy stuff, right? Oh right. God. Okay. Yeah. Not that I would know. I mean, I don't know, obviously. <laughs> I, it's clear. I have too much stuff. Can I get a little Apple box here? Can I also get an Apple? I'm yeah. just starting. Can I have a box of apples? I'd like some Granny Smiths. All right. So I want to show you something. Okay. I have Fuji. It's called Convoy. Oh, can we talk about what are we doing? We're going to run. Well, I want to run Convoy. Oh, yeah. So Paul's been gone, you know, and, and, uh, and people out there in the world have been creating fanfic. Um, and we. we uh, There's got one in particular. Well, I, wouldn't call, I don't know if it's called fanfic. I don't know what it is, but uh, uh, a very talented guy named Bored Edlund yeah. uh, created a, a film, a short film, which uh, we have not been able to share until yeah. this moment. And uh, we want you to take a look at it. And, you know, there, there, I hope in the future you see more of this. I, I, don't, I can't say for sure. Yeah. But uh, here's a little taste of something that should um, make you feel warm and fuzzy uh, about the Verge cast. Take a look. Can I say something? Yeah. It's, it's dark in here. Am I crazy? It's dark. I'm just going to say it. Like, 
Here's what I think. What's going on with my hair? I look like you a, don't uh, seem to care. I, I don't care if your AT&T service like uh, sexually assaults you in the night. Uh, okay. It's very disappointing. That's great. I, this jacket was a mistake. Yeah, it's like it's stupid. It, what it boils down to is this: I got this like weird like Tucker Carlson hair happening. I don't know how that computes. I agree with you. But here's the deal: it feels really solid. It's not a product. You're you're, you're being harsh for no reason. This is not slimy. Okay. It's not right, and I don't appreciate it. Just a little taste. Yeah. Just so a little you, taste. By the way, that's how I picture you. you I'm, not that, I'm not along. that flexible. I can't like actually. But you just send out. Like you just send yeah, out. You're floating you're just, behind. We're in. We're in. We're in. Uh, we're in two separate eighteen wheelers. Neil I and I. Right. Yeah. Powering down the highway. What are you guys hauling, by the way? Well, don't you worry about that. Yeah. Uh, but we're anxious. We're argumentative. We're worried. We're worried. Mostly, uh, from what I can tell, the Vergecast is centered mostly around my completely self-obsessed, <laughs> like my problems with the way I look. Right. <laughs> Which yeah. is very depressing to see, to be confronted with it in such a, in such a manner. But anyhow, we're, we're barreling down the highway of life uh, with hauling yeah. a lot of stuff. So worried, heavy. angry, argumentative, uh, uh, concerned that we look like Tucker, Carl Tucker Carlson yeah. is one of us. You're, you're floating. You're floating down that highway. I'm trying. Zen, zend out. Mm -hmm. You're trying. Yeah. I'm trying. That's good. What really you, earnest. The way you said that was really earnest. Like a guy who's gotten sober, who's just living day to day. That's yeah. right. Day you by day. You can't take anything for granted. That's right. Yeah. Like, like the internet? Or like the fact that you're floating on a highway? Don't yeah. take it for granted. I wouldn't take that doesn't always. I last. wouldn't take that for granted. So, Paul, uh, you are you are uh, basically you're not really writing much. No, you're working on a book. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. It's um, not materialized yet. <laughs> it, well, books are not easy. You, you know, know what I've been doing a lot. I've been learning how to program. Yeah, you're learning, a programmer. You become a code. programmer. Learning JavaScript. Oh yeah. A little Angular JS. You are doing some programming. Programming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have friends who are programmers that you hang no. out? No, I need more programmers. There's no friends. programming clicks in Colorado. If you live in uh, what area of Colorado are you in? Colorado Springs. Yeah, I mean, it's but a I'm big, back. It's I'm, a big I'm in New York now. I moved back. No, shut up. I live in New York. No, no, are you serious? I have my today? apartment back. Are you kidding me? I have, I have a bed. Wait, you're back uh, in New York like permanently? Luggage? Yes. Really? Yes. Did you say you have your luggage with you here? Can we no. unpack it and see what's when in When you there? say your apartment, you don't mean a corner of the office, right? He's curling up in... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> He's like, you know, that you're not. there's some space in the server room that we're not using. Yeah, right? it's really warm, too. Yeah. It's nice. It shouldn't it's be warm. It should be cooled down. It's got its own yeah. air conditioning system. Yeah, but then the heat from the server is... All right, anyhow. Yeah. Uh, that's good, you're back Paul. You're well, that's great. You curled up that. under the server. I'm a, I'm a cat. So yeah. if you're ever in the... Uh, what's your neighborhood? Uh, yeah, Union Square. If you're ever in the Union Square area... Paul was often recognized in the Union Square area. That's right. Yeah, he, he was. A, he was a local celebrity. He haunted. Weird. Paul. He's also a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. And then sometimes if <laughs> I'm skateboarding, of... people are like, "Do a kickflip." Cool. <laughs> Paul was often heckled in the Union Square area. I'm Anyhow. often heckled. <laughs> All right, let's get into. By the way, now something is going on with my hair. Yeah. It's like something news. moved. Paul, it, is, been, it is really hot. But in you've here. been keeping. Yeah. Up why is news. it so hot in here? Have, you're you're you know wearing what? like a sporty. Like you're like a, a Don Draper on the weekends over here. Well, that's that's true. Yeah. Um, I'm like Don Draper. I have. The I've week. been reading. I've been reading TheVerge.com a I'm lot. I'm Don Draper, lady. Yeah, and I wanted to say that you guys have been doing a very good job. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's uh, it, we couldn't have done it without you. It's informative, but it's also insightful. That's something that we have been uh, trying to avoid, but unfortunately, yeah. I guess failing. Can't uh, stop it. We, you know, it's like let's just inform today, mm -hmm. and then. Gosh darn it, we also do insightful work uh, yeah. on top of it. it. It's the yeah. worst. Um, well, I'm glad that you've been reading. Uh, that would explain our uh, and then like all this stuff growth. happened today that like I had no idea about. Yeah, you I mean, know. Like, so let's good segue. My it's here. It's actually good here. segue. The the Nexus Five. Surprise, surprise. Here it is, right here, right there. I'm trying to get the right angle. I think that's, that's the right angle. Yeah. Here it is, Kit Kat, as as delicious as it is nutritious. So God, as far I as I can tell, do I you want to see it? You haven't seen it yet. So, by the way, I come on, before I give it to you, we, you were, like, we did a rehearsal. I we thought. did. You I touched thought, it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, know, I've done enough lying you, but for you the didn't, day. You didn't, I said, I've like, I took it. I've done enough lying for the day. We did yeah. one joke. But I took it back. What other you. lies have you told today? That was a lie. But though. hold on. In, in, you're, now you're lying. What? Because I took it back from you. I what? handed it to you. Right. And then you're like, oh, let me check this out. And I was like, no. But I touched it. He did touch it. He did see. Okay, so. Hold on, wait. What I want to say about it before you touch it again. I got to say, I. I, you know, this design is not uh, revolutionary or anything, but I do, 
I'm pretty psyched on it. Mm. Yeah. It goes that saying. Kit Kat's pretty slick. You, you mean, Josh has been freaking out all day. Kit Kat is pretty slick. So I, I don't I understand say this that is the This is the Chromebook. It's the, it's the matte. It's the Chromebook it's the matte of, black. This yeah. is all I want. The matte I is. Like smudging oil. It are, yeah, it already it. gets fingerprints on it real the fast. That's a little smudgy. Within seconds of you taking it out of the box, I noticed it had fingerprints on Yeah, but on my hands are, I, are. I don't mind. I don't whatever. Mind. You know what? Gets, you know what? Where fingerprints come from? Humans. What do you want? You want me to get it it's on like the camera? It's like you're leaving a little bit of do you want me? You want human. him to do it? Yeah. Can you show it to the camera there? Do you want me to smudge it This for one you? here. This one, there's a... Just Put a little bit of human on wow. there. I'm, please don't refer to finger oil as human. <laughs> please don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. Do you want to, can you show it at all, Paul? You're not great at product demo. No, right? no. Yeah, you've forgotten in how. Fact, in fact, like I, uh, Josh took a picture of me, and I could not find... Remember photo location. Well, it's, it's, Josh, it's, would you like it. to remember photo I, location? I wiped it. Yes, 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 I would. Let's yes. do it. I always oh, save my, you, you, my photo. What's there's happening? No photo I wiped there's it. No photo. I wiped, oh, we'll what, don't you understand now. about we'll me wiping it? Okay. Hey, it's a, everybody's back together. <laughs> Josh and I are always here. We're here. You, you, just, you, would be, you would be the person who's interested <laughs> in that photo. It's, it's not. Good. We've been it's here. Good. Can it's you a zoom in? Blurry. Is it? D despite the fact that no, we are. That's a terrible photo. Wow, that's the studio single, lighting. Oh, give me the single worst photo. Right, we, right, let me no, see don't that. delete it. Don't, smash delete. The don't be one of those guys who deletes Put photos. Put a filter on it. Oh, I'm that guy. Oh, God. Are you thinking of me? You're the guy. Are you me? I don't know. Now that I'm hearing this, I feel like maybe it's better without Paul on the Verge cast. Why isn't this working? What's happening? Do something. You have problematic thumbs. Where is the control? Is controls? it not recognizing my face or something? Where are the controls for that? This thing's mad at me. What did you do? It knows that I ate a Kit Kat. It's mad. I That's ate weird. its brother. Here, I'll take one of you guys, okay? It's not going to work. I'm the only guy in the room who knows how to use an Android <laughs> phone. Beautiful photo. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's okay. No, it's blurry. It's off. Yeah, yeah like, Look, why, so why can't let's they just, let's the shutter speed? Let's just get into it. The yeah. Nexus 5 is here. Kit Kat is here. The only question about oh, the Nexus 5, buggy. There's a bug Google here. is in allergic my, to cameras. In my mind, is whether or not this thing will have a good camera. Because it's what made the Nexus 1 not such a great phone. It's what made the Galaxy Nexus not such a great phone. Yeah. It's what made the Nexus 4 not a great phone. It's what made my HTC One with Google Play not such a great phone. Same I mean, with give me, the give GS4. Me, give me your iPhone. Let me see. I'm going to take the same picture. I want to see what happens. This is going to look great. Somebody... <laughs> and the only reason, do the same thing. The only like, reason it's going to look great is because somebody cares about that camera. Here we go. When Samsung makes the camera for the GS4, it looks fine, too. Uh, first off, it's a billion times faster in taking... Oh, my God. It's ridiculous. The picture is really good, but... Oh, you God. Know what what is wrong with you? Know but here's the comparison. Uh, Look at the comparison. Why does my face do Look that? Look at the comparison quality. No, What's I don't want anybody. Neela, you're not allowed to delete photos. We yes, live in a time where everything is permanent. Everything is I out there. I live in a time where everything can be deleted. <laughs> I gotta say, I have to say I'm very disappointed. This is the worst Vergecast. Wow, that camera bit. is so much faster. Yes. Okay, so so that's somebody. It, and all so, it is, so, so, somebody cares so about ca this camera. So this the, for this is, is a very very big and disappointment. That's the, in the Nexus 5's defense, yeah. the iPhone 5s costs like a thousand dollars off contract, and that costs like three hundred and fifty dollars. I will say this is kind but, of a, a. But that's not an excuse for the the speed of the software. If it's going to take p terrible photos, at least just do, do it. Do we fast. know what? Um, that's based on the LG G2, right? G. G5, G27. It's based on the uh, G2. It's I mean, a G2. I, think, I think it's based on But the Paul G2. just gave me the look like I said it wrong, but then I realized that Paul doesn't no, actually know. So he's just instinctively giving me the look like you know I'm incorrect. What? I don't know. That's a kind you know of a how nice when rappers say, like, I think you can like make the G6? camera. G6? Yeah. I thought that was like erroneous. Like reference to like you know how they had the G4 and then the G5 and then the, like the you thought it was a power PC. I reference. thought it was a power PC reference. You really? I did not know that. You thought was like a I, hit. I can understand. You thought that. wait, you thought there was a hit club song about a power PC? Yeah, like like you know like they're yeah, like now it's, I get it. I just they're like trying to predict the future. Like I already have a G6. Yeah. Just like when um, when uh, in Mission Impossible when Tom Cruise asks for a um, a 486 processor or 586 yeah, processor, yeah. it's like oh my gosh. Wait, does somebody say like that doesn't exist? No, they're like we have one because we're the secret agency. Right. They're like yeah, we'll just boot up the on the 586 yeah. PC, the PC X. I just like the idea that you you thought like a G6 was about like remember 486 and never released like a G6 Mac Mac Pro. Pro. Can you imagine how good that would be back? Back when with power PC architecture, but that song was like three years doing ago. Things right. You can really tell that you haven't been in New York. <laughs> it's really you're, you're having not been in New York. You really are wearing it on your sleeve. All right, can we um, let's talk about this one. 
Yeah. We need to okay. talk about the phones. Let's talk about the phones. So, so you've so noticed a lot of differences since you've been playing with it. There them. are some significant, I mean, visually, there are some little touches that I think. So first off, it's got a couple of interesting features. Um, it has, uh, it's always listening. So you can say, okay, Google. That's creepy. I want what, everything to stop right always now. listening. It works really well, except that how, it's. How long does it take a picture of you if you just talk to it? What? How long does it take to take a picture if you just talk to it? What do you mean if you just talk to it? Like say, oh, okay, Google, I want to take a picture. Why would you do that? Well, it's. I don't think that works. Let's try it. Then. Slow when does you it touch work? it. Yeah. Okay, Google, take a picture. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. No, it's picking up. No, it, what is it doing? No, it's didn't, is it, it didn't calling work. your friend picture? I don't how think is that? All how is that more it. convenient than just hitting the button? I'm just saying the button's slow, so maybe the. I don't know. That's maybe an, they insane, got something right. an insane premise. Oh, they finally turned the air on in here. Yeah. That's I've been really asking for this for this delightful minutes, by the way. hours. Yeah. What feels like hours, but was actually several minutes. Um, so anyhow, there's some visual changes, some pretty notable, if you've used uh, the previous version of Android, some pretty notable, notable visual changes. Uh, they've tweaked the dialer with some really interesting new features, which is oh. kind of... Sorry, I just saw the B-roll and I... Go ahead. What's happening? Hangouts. Yeah, hangouts. hangouts. We'll yeah. get to that. The dialer has some really interesting new features. Like you can, if you search for pizza in your dialer, it'll find like if you have like pizza joint is a yeah. saved thing, whatever, it'll find it. No, I think it also has like the yellow pages. The yellow effectively pages. It'll, no, no. Yeah, it'll, I think it's Google Maps. I don't think it's the yellow pages. Hmm. I mean, why would it be the yellow pages? I don't know. Of all I, things to build in, why would Google build in a thing that they don't own? I don't know. I don't know. Search, for something. search for something. Well, okay, fine. I'll search for pizza. No, go like Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Here's Little Italy Pizza ready to Pizza Hut in Pennsylvania. Pl oh, Pen Penn Plaza. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say it's like, Pennsylvania. That's, the nearest, that's how cool New York is. The nearest Pizza Hut is in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, but uh, it, SMS is now built into Hangouts. Emoji is now. So I, it, does it work just like iMessage where you get a different color text or it, it somehow notified that you're doing you know, your I haven't Hangout put my SIM in this a, phone yet, so I don't know. Yeah. There's an SMS tag. There's an SMS tag. Yeah. yeah. Um, by the, and by uh, the way, like since um, um, Mavericks yeah. started to get messaging a little bit better, a little, a little more integrated, I've been like letting my phone die for like a week at a time Paul, and Paul, doing Paul. all of my texting. That's not a change with my computer. I, that's, that's not. That's, that's not. That's, new like, that's just Paul. Like, people without that's iPhones you. That's don't you. exist to me, yeah. and it's great. I that's like cool. all of these. I guess people. that's why I think it makes you a racist. Touch. What? That's yeah, you're racist. racist. That's not racist. Yeah. I mean, the difference That's in room racist. temperature it's right truth. now, <laughs> having actually Paul, turned on... Paul, that's what racists say about racism. <laughs> Yeah, right. That's well, not racist. It's just true. Like, that's just, no, that's racist. Yeah, that's not really an argument. Like, that's not really a way you win an argument. Is you, just say, you just say, no, I'm not, I'm not wrong. I'm, I'm, yeah, just, like I'm just saying say, how it is. I'm basically saying, like, I'm not wrong. I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm right. That's, what are you talking about? That's exactly yeah. correct. Yeah. Thank you. It's not racist. People, you heard it here first, folks. It's not racist. It's true. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst Vergecast ever <laughs> and 1 being the best Vergecast ever, this is like a 400. Yeah. That's it's like, that. what number is this? We're trying. Look, we're really trying important. to focus on the gadget. Anyhow, so uh, what else is going on? It's got, uh, a, a new, it's got a, uh, it's visually refined. Right. So here's, here's a big question on this phone. Yeah. And we ran a post on it today. Yeah. Uh, KitKat's going to come to a whole bunch of other phones. Yes. Right? It's going to come to the Nexus 4. It's going to come to the Google Play ones. Yeah, it needs to come to like real phones. But the HTC One with the with the Google Play is a real phone. That's, that's a real phone. Reduced yeah, but the, 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 like, three people buy? in the world, three people in the world own them. Right, but why would you buy this phone instead of the GS4 with, with KitKat or? Because it's cheaper. I mean, honestly, it's cheaper, but also I think the hardware is like a bit, a little bit. I, I mean, it's not nicer it. than the one, but I like the fact that it has a very small bezel and these like very sharp edges. Yeah. I don't know. I would. I think I would. De this definitely will be a replacement for the GS4. Yeah. Well, the Moto X has already has been a replacement, but this will replace the Moto yeah. X. You Especially get, now they've they've put that sombrero app on. Yeah. What, it. What's this? Oh, for, <laughs> which is like I woke up today <laughs> and like accidentally hit a sombrero. <laughs> And was taken into like a magical 3D adventure on my <laughs> phone. Seriously, Motorola, like, what are you thinking? Yeah, it's like you forced an so, app onto my phone that literally. Did invades. everybody get this, or is it just yeah, reviewers? Well, I, no, I think this? everybody got it. I, I don't think. I, look, it's this thing. Where is it? Now it's not here. Yeah, it so was floating Moto around. X, Moto like X owners yesterday. I saw one of these two. Uh, a hat. Oh, here it is. A windy red day. hat. Windy day. Yeah, yeah. This this thing. You see that hat <laughs> floating through. 
It's just floating around. Okay, now I'm in a magical adventure. It's cool. It's really cool. But like when you wake up at eight in the morning and you're like doing this <laughs> magical <laughs> adventure and there's like a flute playing. Yeah, it's nice. crazy. This is awesome. <laughs> We've lost Paul. He's gone now. You know, I'm going to need a refill on this whiskey. Um, thank you, Ross. You're a really good man. It's like, Ross is it's in like costume you're just looking today, through a window way. into a forest. Ross yeah, is in costume. Ross, why? come on in. Come on over here. He's in costume. Yeah. But why are you in Show a us your costume today. Yeah. This is, this is. is like this is whimsy. <laughs> Right this, here. Whimsy? Oh, this is whimsy. This is whimsy. Why? Yeah. What? Why is Motorola just randomly delivering whimsy to you? Why, yeah, that's, why I don't, are, I'm cool with whimsy. Just don't force it on my phone at eight in the morning. Give me that. This that's is, like a 10 a.m. sort of thing. What do you do? You touch the hat. Do you see the little guy come out? No. Look here, he is. He's he's sweeping. Look, look, look. Do you see him? There's a. This is no, so like weird. a little mouse. We're looking in like the opposite direction. Oh, here though. you got it. I mean, like, I have to say, look, here's look, look, look. here's the problem. This with is a cell cool. Phones. This is really cool. Let me just let me just let me but just lay horrible. out what the problem with cell phones in this day and age is. Like, we have a brand new cell phone with a brand new version of Android, and we are actively ignoring it for an old cell phone with a hat that's playing a flute song with a mouse I'll chasing the, I the hat. Mouse. I see the mouse. Now, I see the mouse. I get it. What's but we're all the, way what's more excited the about the mouse what's under the than hat? we are about the Nexus 5. Is there like a dude under Air, there? Air is under the hat. Oh, it's like and I would, I, would, I would submit <laughs> to you that that says something right, about okay. the state all of right, our industry. Right, enough. Oh, here it is. We have a video of it. Of the hat? Oh, the 5. Yeah, look how much they're enjoying it. Like, hey, this woke me up, and now I'm, I'm living an adventure. This guy's like, what's happening on my phone? I just wanted to send an email, and now, yeah, I'm, now I'm chasing hat, around man. a rat in a hat. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish this was not. This is real. Like, it's hey, not, but that's not doing. Like, hey guys, cool. You went to Brooklyn. We're happy. This for is like you. a shared experience that people are having right yeah. now. Yeah, in Brooklyn. <laughs> it's like, but it's only a, people in Brooklyn. Wait, so yeah, do you show up as the rat for all the you other people? You don't understand. I don't understand. It's not, it's not a. It's not an. It's not a massive multiplayer it online. Should be. It should be. It's, uh, yeah. but this I don't, is, know, I like, I don't I'm, understand I'm this. All right, let's talk about the Nexus 5. Hat. It's um, impossible to talk about the Nexus 5. That's, Nexus what, that's 5, kind of what we're saying. It's weird because it's a, mo a Google-owned company. I think right. they would have waited a day to, to roll along. Anyhow, that's, that's not important. Um, the Nexus 5, though, this is the thing about the Nexus 5. 16 gig. It's 349. LTE. Nice display. Deal. Obviously, cutting-edge software. LTE, 349, off contract. Take it to whatever carrier you want as long as it's not Verizon. And By the way, the, and the Verizon oh, Sprint version. The Verizon Google relationship continues to just be a disaster. Yeah. As far as I can. Well, tell. I mean, you know, Verizon has set itself up as the they are the. This is the evil character. They're the enemy of mm -hmm. neutrality, net neutrality, and they're freedom. Like Steve, well, yeah, Steve they're the enemy of choice. Me. I haven't seen it. Spoiler alert. Okay. Yeah, they're the enemy of choice, and then their winning argument is, by the way, our network works all the time. Yeah, but I mean, you know what? I, whatever. AT and T service has been fine for me. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I was like, "Damn you, AT and T! How oh, dare you!" I can think of that time. Well, it's in our every, building. In our building. I'm doing it's pretty good. Building. I'm doing it's pretty good time, on T-Mobile. Every like time I walk out of an elevator and it picks up 4G first, and I have to flip back and forth on the airplane I, mode to get it to hit it LTE, I, I curse. I definitely, I that. definitely seriously consider T-Mobile all the time. But, no, but let's, don't do that. Let's talk, about, let's talk about the Nexus Five for just one second, okay? I just want to say, I just want to say a few you, things. You could get the Nexus Five on T-Mobile. Yeah, I just want to say a few things about it. I think that um, from a software perspective, uh, Google took what was very good and has made it better. Sure. I think there's actually some, and it's lower. Speaking to like older phones, it's it's lower system requirements. Too, lower right? system. This is like the this is like the um, Windows eight of or Windows seven or Windows seven rather of of uh, Android of Android. Yeah, but uh, but you know. The one, I, honestly, and I'll say this, the one place where every single Android phone is awful or near awful is the camera. Yeah. And there was an opportunity here. There's always an opportunity for somebody to make a great Android phone with a great camera. Not yeah. anymore because <clears throat> Microsoft bought Nokia, right? Am I right? Yeah. And nobody does it. Yeah. And nobody does it. And like, it's just how, like, I actually want to know how long you've been waiting. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Show. I mean, we also say this, it, we have not. Well, Nokia's the only. Do you have like other a like a laughs journal in Colorado? Where yeah, you like, uh, yeah, write it down. Oh, oh yeah, I get I get just, go for it. You kick, just yeah. wait. Thank you. What's <laughs> happening there? Oh great, oh, Ross more has booze. my drink. Well, we need you know, to add to this mix but, but right what now. I is wanna, alcohol. Thank you. But what I want to say is, uh, it's disappointing to me. You know, uh, everything else about this phone feels very high quality. Yeah, it really does. It feels like a really nicely made Looks phone. Awesome. And the software is very elegant. Yeah, more elegant than it's ever been. Uh, as far as Android goes, yeah, they, it's just they the, keep the camera. It the camera. It's like if I can't take a picture of my dog on the sofa at night, yeah, in low light, 
with with good results. Without it looking like it's somehow you like lost you're my spinning vote. in a chair. No, that's what I'm saying. And the only vote. difference is, as far as I can tell, between this camera and the one that Samsung ships and their and the GS4 and the one that HTC is shipping in the one, which is slightly better but still just okay, and Apple's and Nokia's, is that those people care. And Google doesn't seem to care about the camera on stock devices. I mean, it's capable of taking but it's good like, photos. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, but you're, that's a super still, easy still photo sure. to take. Yeah. Like of something that's not moving with a giant light pointed at it. You're like, right. It's not going to, there isn't a camera, a modern camera that can't take a good photo in that condition. The that's problem terrible. is, that was horrible. The problem is that I don't think Google has any incentive. Like you said, they're only going to sell like a thousand of those. Well, that's the thing is that all it feels like all of these Nexus phones are just like uh, kitty joke phones. Right. Like they're just doing them as a joke, some kind of weird joke to make everybody <laughs> to push laugh. The platform. To make everybody laugh. Well, you know, Motorola did. Uh, yeah, to push the platform with the last generation uh, LG f chassis. Well, no, this is a modern. Well, the newest generation, but uh, they've already released the phone. It's, and it's not had. like it's not like they were like we just set the bar really high. Now LG is going to come out with their device that's like this. Right. It's the other way around. I don't know why they don't just use, like, mo like let Motorola build all the camera stuff and then, like, take that and use it. Well, back. how I mean, much better is the camera on that? Well, it's, it's better. You know, Motorola, to get past carrier crap today, released their camera yeah, app on Google see how, Play. Let me see how this fares. This can shot. you put the Motorola Google Play camera app onto that phone? Would that make it better? I don't think you can do that. That'd be wild. So, yeah, to get around Verizon and AT&T and all the, the stuff, Motorola just put its app in the store today, which I think is very clever. Oh, yeah, this is not... By comparison, I mean... Well, I don't think the Moto X camera is going to get Again, either. by the way, another bad picture of you. God, stop it. I don't know why that's happening. I really don't. Let's see here. I just look sad <laughs> or drunk in all these photos, which, to be honest, is really my natural I state. I mean, actually... The, Paul the, looks very handsome in that one. Yeah, here's, here's what's going on in this picture with Paul. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just blurry everywhere. Yeah. I mean, uh, no, this is not a review, but if I had to do an initial review right now, I'd say this camera is not very good. Yeah. It doesn't. It's really disappointing too. I don't know how to pose anymore. Well, it doesn't matter because no matter how you pose, it'll be blurry. <laughs> it'll be bad. I so mean, it really is. It really and is. Then Eli like, is going to delete it. It's yeah. actually so it never rather even matter. incredible. I'm sorry to be eviscerating it here for all the people who are excited about getting one of these, but uh, if you thought this was going to be like the Android phone with a good camera, no. this is such an old story. This is so like it's so lame. It's such a lame story too. Moto X definitely taking better photos, in my opinion. Do you have you have the latest app on the Moto X? Yeah, not a great pose from either one of you. Oh God! Sorry. But like a way better photo. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to keep the sombrero phone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a sombrero or not, but whatever it is, I chased after it. Yeah. Bleary eyed. All right. Do you want to talk about something else cool that Motorola is doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, do we have anything else to say or about you KitKat take, or, or, or the, the Nexus ne Five? Do we want to take calls on the Nexus Five? Sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> this has already been a complete pile. <laughs> Let's take some calls on the Nexus 5. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Bring it on, Internet. All right. Well, We're while, taking calls on the Nexus 5. Please dial our number. number. We're going to put up our number any moment now, John. There it is. Right. 1-888-418-4074. Dial in. Ask us anything you want. You know, even if it's not about the Nexus 5. It could <laughs> yeah. be about us. Just it could enjoy. be about our hopes, our dreams. So you know. let's talk about Project Era. Which Ooh, is Motorola's modular phone Project, Project Ara. Ara. Era? I don't know. I think it's Ara. So Project. Motorola lot this week... I think this is kind of the most interesting news of the week. They announced a project to build modular phones. They teamed up with this dude who's running a project called Phone Blocks, yeah. who, as far as I can tell, was not an engineer, did not have a project, just had like an idea, a cool Kickstarter, a video, and a bunch of people who were like into it. And Motorola's like, we've got engineers, and you've got a big community of excited people. Right. Let's do this thing. So they're trying to build a modular phone. Which right. I think is a brilliant idea on several levels, but only if you can actually pull it off. I think it's a totally ill-fated dream. Well, here's the thing: it yeah, may be it may be an ill it, it may be an ill-fated dream, but right. here's the thing: uh, you know, I think there's a, a couple different ways to think about it. Yeah, I had a little bit of a maybe not an argument, but a conversation. Uh, with somebody on Twitter about like, oh, this isn't going to work because of system architecture and the way phones are, and you know, you don't understand the challenges of engineering. And it's like, you know, yes, you know, the way that phones are made now, mm -hmm. you can't just take that model and go like, that's going to be a phone block phone. Like yeah. that's how it's going to work. Um, you may not be able to say, you know, the way they have phone blocks is really kind of particular. Like, 
you'll have a Wi-Fi module and a yeah. Bluetooth module and this module. It's like, yeah, that may not really be how it turns out. But if you have the option of a battery module and a CPU and GPU and, yeah. and uh, a, brain. a brain module and a memory module and a storage module and a, screen module. And a different type of camera mo- like Some of these things are possible. Like Some of the things that are possible is you can hot swap the, the camera. Mm-hmm. Okay, That, I believe, is actually possible. I mean, this is just cool. Like... This is obviously not a real thing. Yeah. But this that's is a like really huge. cool idea. Yeah, that's big. It's like a Newton. Yeah. Well, it's a Newton. I mean, you say it's big, but, uh, you know, why are all of these videos? The why galaxy? is every tech video like people in these environments doing insane things? With Have like, you noticed with this? With like backpacks on. Yeah. They it's all these it. people with backpacks. No, we're all really. Why ha- do we hate people with backpacks on this show? <laughs> racism. It's r- backpack racism. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's made for the entire world. I think they're kidding themselves. I, don't, I, I just feel like a phone is a modular. It's like a little kind of s- tiny slab of hardware that you slot into your ecosystem. I feel like, th- and in the way it's hmm. manufactured, has it. You know, it's so embedded to, to make it small and to make it. I think. Good. The, yeah, I think the big issue with this idea is that you know, the, I think the consumer angle is that people don't want to get a new part for their phone they want to buy a brand new phone yeah like that's how we think you know like you you think about the 2014 i mean car if, if, right. if i you if know I like that's put, how we're programmed if i could put the iphone 5s camera on my iphone 5 i would do it yeah if that was like if i could put the iphone 5s know, camera on if this, that was a hundred dollars but that's but, true but but to actually make that happen my phone would have to be twice as large Maybe. yeah probably start out more expensive and I don't know. I mean, I we don't, don't know because it hasn't been no, engineered I think that, yet. I think what you're saying about people wanting new stuff is like, I just put uh, an, an SSD into my iMac. Yeah, you're still And the iMac is fine. No, it's fine. It's really fast. It's actually faster in benchmarks than the new 13-inch MacBook Pro, so that's fast. Right. Um, but I'm kind of like, man, I should maybe I should have just gotten a new iMac. But that's a there's horrible, no reason why. That's, that's a horrible um, way to live. I mean, basically, no, like it is. maybe. I mean, look, I all the time, I have a two a car. My car is from 2010, yeah, and I you love it. A new car. I love it. Yeah. And I barely drive it. Yeah. And all the time, I'm like, ooh, maybe I should get a new car. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I don't need one. That's why. But that's what this project is like. No. Right. But it would be cool. But to his point, if I had a phone and I was like, yeah, this camera sucks. And they're like, well, for $100 more, you can get a much better camera. And that's important. If that's important to you, I'd be all over that. Or even $200 more. Like, it would it would matter that much how, to me. I mean, how many of the components of these? I mean, the, the cameras are going to be bumping up against physics before very long. Already are. Well, no, actually, so I, I don't think so. I think what's interesting about these cameras these really small cameras in the phones mm-hmm. is that it's um they are having to do different tricks to make them better than we've traditionally done with like regular dslr point and shoot stuff right. and the tricks they're getting better and better at approximating the big cameras with the little sensors and they're they're going off in wild new directions and i think people are looking at these pictures and they're getting used to them in a way that we didn't use. We weren't it's ready true. for, yeah. and so the tricks are going to start to reinforce what people expect people to look, uh, expect photos to look like, okay. and they're going to get better in a different way than you would expect, like a DSLR picture. How much of that is going to be software, though? And I think it's. I think it's a combination. Yeah, I think, I, and I think that software hardware combination. But it's also it, these it, camera sensors. I guarantee you, that's the same sensor as the G two. Right. It's just Google's crappy at writing software for it. Yeah, right? which you think they would at this point they would just get some killer like camera people right to pretty you know to create i mean but, i but, can't but, imagine but i can't imagine right? i don't like, know but i can't imagine matthias duarte or anybody at google going home and taking photos of this thing and feeling satisfied that it's a product they released right you, oh we got a caller about camera about caller. cameras what raj. what's his name raj raj is on the line wants to talk about cameras raj what's happening uh, yeah, so I have an hello. First of all, nice to speak to you guys. Hi, how are yeah. you? Welcome, welcome to the Verge. Welcome to the best Vergecast episode That's right. ever. That's right. <laughs> so I, I'm actually seriously considering buying a Nexus Five. Sure, we all are. And one of the things that would hold me back is a good the absence of the camera. I have an HTC One X, yeah. and it's a pretty neat camera. So jumping from that to something that's going to be blurry all the time is kind of a scary prospect. Yeah, but. What surprises me is that Google seems to be really having good people who seem to work with cameras in Google. I upload all my raw images from my 
Sony Sorry. NEX6 to Google Plus. Murder is awesome. You're breaking so, up. Oh, God. Are you going to show up in the studio, too? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Raj. Yeah, so I have a hard time believing that with Google Plus, you know, having such great camera features that yeah. they can't write good software. That, that's a great, that's a great, Nexus. I think that's a great point. I mean, they Google has pushed, uh, so hard on look at our photo gallery features but like Google you can auto a, upload they're not a hardware company to Google Plus no but they're saying like this is the, your repository for photos yeah. like put all your stuff here we have all these tools now you can edit blah 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 it's like why wouldn't you say you know we built this awesome library this gallery for your photos and a way to share them we're going to give you the best camera possible to capture them, I, I think they've got some sort of budget and they just like have to decide at some point it's good enough I feel like Apple I mean, I would love to see the percentage of the of the cost of the iPhone 5s that is that the camera. camera. I think that's L- iFixit has that. Like they are. Can we get a number on that? Neil, I dial it up. Insanely, <laughs> they Apple clearly sees that as like the most important feature of a phone, which well, it, is. it is. I mean, I, I yeah. you know, it's definitely you know, I've talked a lot about. At home, Laura and I have discussed this a lot about, you know, really having a camera with you all the time that is going to be of a good enough quality that you're not going to be like, God, I wish I took that with a real camera. Well, and I, I and think that's, you feel that way with an I iPhone. Think, I think what it shows is that the iPhone is not built with, with off-the-shelf parts. Apple is super custom about everything they have. And, yeah. and, and Google is not a hardware company, and they are sourcing that camera from somebody who makes – Probably the best camera. Sony. Yeah, it's Sony of, of that size. What's weird about that is that Sony can't make a good camera on their phones. So yeah, it's a, it's fine. Is it it's fine? A, it's not as good as that. Is it as, is it as, as good, good as, as the iPhone, iPhone 5s? Yeah. No. Right. So it's not fine. It's, so it isn't it's fine. The, it's, it's Apple not, and Nokia that are good at this. That's it. Yeah. yeah. yeah and, and there you go. Another, well, Nokia, but Nokia had to, to really compete. Had to make a phone with essentially a point and shoot on the back of it. Yeah. So well, a forty-one megapixel point. <clears throat> forty-one megapixel. But still, but, by the way, and that's I think a really the the ten twenty is a good example of what I'm saying with like the tricks. It's the tricks. It's they built a gigantic image sensor so they could do digital zoom, which was has been soundly rejected by every like point and shoot maker in every traditional camera sort of world. And you put it on a phone, and everyone's like a oh, digital zoom, zoom reinvented. You know, it definitely is. It definitely is a software issue for these guys. I mean, it, you know, I don't think this camera is. I mean, based on just taking a few shots here, like I think the camera's capable well, of taking I mean, good photos. We are, we're under studio lights. Like, right. we, there is absolutely enough light well, for almost Well, studio light can be har- studio light can be harsh and unforgiving. <laughs> yeah, but it also can uh, uh, allow for faster shutter speeds. Sure, yeah. on, except on the Nexus Five. So, actually, speaking of phones, Raj, thank like, you, thank you for the call. I, I yeah. appreciate the. Uh, it's actually a really good point. I mean, I think Google, if they, and it's certainly if they want to reinforce that they're they're capable of being this like resource uh, I mean, for. Ad for the Nexus Five is about the camera, so I don't understand how they right. didn't put an effort into it. No, it should have been incredible. It should have been. They should have the blown. Camera. They should have blown right. everybody away with the camera. I, I totally agree. Raj, right. thank, thank, thank you right. so much for calling in. Um, you know, and it's funny that the ad for the, the Nexus Five is the camera because the, the ad for the iPhone is a camera, and the, the ad I- for every phone in the world is a camera because it's a camera in your pocket right. that's connected to the internet. But you know what? Just saying it is not enough. Like you yeah. have to be able to deliver. Right. And I think this is a killer price point for an LTE phone, three hundred forty nine dollars off contract. I, it's it's really funny to me that you keep saying it's a killer c- c- price for an LTE phone. It's like, oh, it's a high end. It's a high end. The specs as but far what as phone isn't LTE. You can well, get an one for ninety nine dollars. You can get an iPhone five C for five hundred dollars. The, those are LTE. Those are high end LTE phones. Yeah, but the iPhone five camera. They don't have the five S on here. But to buy a replacement, I'm just saying you were so. Scar like emotionally for scarred the for the Nexus Four. No, but that. you think LTE is worth like well, hundreds other, of dollars. What other? What but other, I think it's table stakes. What in other these brand? Phones. What other brand new flagship device with extremely modern hardware? I'm, and matte black. No, but they can you buy? No, it's a great that, price. I mean, it's even just, the, I think it's I mean, funny you keep the, saying LTE. No, but as a comparison, look at the. One, though, sorry, the one or the S four. What is right. what is their base? Five, they're five fifty. They're like six hundred dollars. Yeah. So it's a pretty big jump, right? You know, I think that's notable. And uh, the five and it has C, LTE. The five C is five hundred fifty. The five C is five fifty on unlocked. Yeah, and it's last and it's year's la- phone. Last year's phone. So it's not. It's not. You know, it's current. unapologetically plastic. Though. Unapologetically plastic. As, uh, as we as have as a as caller. As Who is the caller? Who? Mark. Um, Mark. Mark, you're on the air. Tell us what you're feeling. Tell us what you're thinking. Hello, hello. Um, 
I just recently saw the... Uh, the Mark, are you British? I think are you was... British? <laughs> yes. Is this, no, a, fa- or is this a fake it. British accent? This is real or fake? No, no, it's not fake. It's real. I, I'm real. I'm not made of plastic. Okay, good. So, oh, my, qu- my question... <laughs> Is it? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Well, anyway, go my question is no, not your accent. Hey, 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 hold on. Video. Go ahead. Can I ask, can I ask about the Nexus 5 already? <laughs> okay. Um, I saw the video, the, the hands-on video, but I think it was Dita Bone, and uh, he said that the performance wasn't very good on, uh, on KitKat, on the Nexus 5. Is that true? I mean, um, my, the performance I've seen seems seems uh, at least concurrent with something like the Moto X, which I've had. I've no. And the Moto com- X is a, a mid-range phone. Yeah, but I have no complaints. But that's the thing about it. I don't. I've been using the Moto X as a, as my daily driver, and yeah. I'm not like God. This is so slow. Or geez, this scrolling. I, I, I don't have any of those feelings whatsoever. I feel it. I feel it's a very fast phone. Here's the number one thing you can do if you're an Android user. If you want to make your phone actually feel faster. Open up developer options, turn all of your animations off. Suddenly your phone will feel blazingly fast. Um, at a glance, using this phone, I do not feel that it's slow. Uh, I don't know, you know, Dieter spent some time with it doing a hands-on today. Uh, you know, his, he, he may have I, a, a I totally different saying. take on he it. He said that there, there's like an Android lag that exists in the world. Yeah. Um, this doesn't, you mean this doesn't solve it? It does not solve it. KitKat well, doesn't yeah, solve well, it. Yeah, well, I've, I've used the Galaxy S4 and it's as smooth as an iPhone, as far as I'm concerned. I think that you know um, side by side, cool but side by side, what I think you'd what you what you'd find is that it is not as smooth as an iPhone. Is that yeah. the? I mean, one of the things that is that is Apple's. I mean, and this is the truth, and this goes beyond the whole like how many milliseconds it responds to touch. One of Apple's um, sort of secret weapons is the brain that controls the screen and touch sensitivity on. It. I mean, there is a separate. They they really have like a whole separate. Uh, architecture for how yeah. your finger interacts with the screen, and it is like a patented secret sauce thing L- that they my do. My sister-in-law has an iPhone four, and it it still feels yeah like really no. I mean, really I mean, fast. I mean, if you're going to compare, if you're going to compare like touch sensitivity and speed side by side to an iPhone or perception of speed rather. Um, you know, there's going to be a difference in any Android phone, in my opinion. I mean, you may the GS four may feel. And having used the GS4 side by side to an iPhone, I don't think it is as smooth or as sensitive as an iPhone. But that said, um, these phones have different flows. I mean, I use you know, when I use Windows, I'm like, God, the feeling of Windows is so different than OS 10, and it's not comfortable to me. I feel like I'm in a completely different at a completely different speed. But you know, there are people who use Windows and think it's like incredible and efficient. Well, yeah, I, those I people feel... find me all the time. They <laughs> no, know where I, I live. Like, yeah, I, they I know where still, I live. That's right. Uh, I when I started working for um, for Engadget, um, pretty shortly in, I, I got a, a PC. And so I did a lot of work on a PC, and I eventually went back to the Mac. But uh, I still feel like a power user on the PC. Like you just you just get in a zone or something like that. And I think I, I, I I've I, been playing with Android a little bit, and I I was starting to get there. It's cool. Yeah, I it's don't um, no. I mean I love look. I love my HTC One. I think it's a fine phone. Like great, it's a great piece of hardware. It runs. Um, 4.3 great. Mm-hmm. I, I 4.3 is great. I, I just don't think the specs matter anymore, except for the camera. Yeah, I think. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm just flipping around here, going through um, web pages, and it, you know, this doesn't feel like a slow phone to me, and it doesn't feel like it's. You know, the scrolling to me feels like that pretty screen looks really washed this, out. This, this does have a um, the screen is a, a little washed out. Motion, but it's the that has a motion processor, like a separate motion processor no, or something. The Moto, like that, X, or the Moto X has a separate motion processor. So it's just KitKat that's doing that. What? Well, KitKat does something with like it does your accelerometer stuff, like step counting and stuff like that. So that oh yeah, no, they, they they all they all do that. I mean, so that's to some degree yeah. depending okay, on okay. But it's not anyhow, like but, but sorry to get to the mark to get to your uh, question. I, I'm using it right now. It does not feel slow by comparison of other Android devices. It does not feel slow. Yeah. It feels like a pretty speedy okay. Android phone. And it's stock. Um, what it's stock? It's stock. I mean, it doesn't. You know, there's another thing that's um, yeah. This is a good. This is a good example, but it's, it's, you know, the funny thing is like, <clears throat> you know, I find that Android phones have to settle in. You spend a couple of days <laughs> yes. with them. Yeah. And Android phones do. have to be babied. They, they, they do, do have to be babied a little bit. But uh, I, by comparison to my Moto X, this doesn't feel slower. Let's put it that way. And I, I, in some ways, in I'm going to end up my selling phone. my one and buying this phone and not knowing why. So That's d- what's going to I don't happen. know why you have the one. I mean, just stick with your iPhone. Just admit that I you're an it. iPhone user. <laughs> just stop pretending. This one's new. I go back and forth. It's I, whatever's new. I just wanted to point out that the iPhone 5 camera, because we were talking about this before, uh, the iPhone 5 camera, they don't have the 5S. 
iPhone 5 camera is 40 bucks on iFixit. You're telling me they haven't done the 5S yet? A the teardown? Replay. No, they've done they've the, done you the can't teardown. just buy the part. They don't, have the, the, they don't have the price. To buy the part for the iPhone 5, which is more than a year old. Yeah, but that's like a consumer. Yeah, but, 40 but a, a year price. old, like, used money. part or whatever. That is whatever. a lot of money yeah, but for the, but a that, single part. That camera is also camera. still better than this camera. Right. Yeah. The year old iPhone 5 camera is still better and than I'm saying I don't think they're, you know, I don't think Google's paying $40 for that camera part. But that's a marked up, like... God only knows where those iPhone 5 cameras are coming from. I mean, That's not what I, Apple pays for the camera either. I mean, actually, I don't want to know. I mean, this is actually, this takes some pretty nice looking macro shots. Like, oh, God. No, I mean, I, this is a kind of a good shot. Like, you're just trying to. You know, I, I'll be honest with you. Like, macro is, is. It's a terrible picture. No, it's not. Yeah, only one part of it's in focus. Yeah, it's, that's because it's macro. That's what, ma yeah. that's what macro is. Yeah. Who's Mark, the caller? No, we still have the same caller on the so phone. Are you so still is there? The camera, is the camera app just super, yeah, I'm still here. Is the camera app just really superficial still on Android 4.4? It's I mean, the same app. It's the same. The app is still the same. I mean, I, I disagree. I think this is actually a pretty impressive macro photo, I'm going to tell you right now. Mm. Having tried to take, I bet you if you try to take the same photo with your iPhone, you would have difficulty focusing in on that close. Thing? Yeah. Like, All right, Mark, thank you for calling report? in. I mean, we're, we're basically, right. yeah, look, I can't even focus on that. It's pathetic. Pathetic. Um, thank you for calling in, Mark. And uh, we appreciate your, uh, your thoughts. And we're sorry for. And we're sorry happened. for keeping you on the phone for no reason. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Is there anything else you want to know before you go? Uh, well, there's not really a question. I would like to mention that you were talking about the price of the Nexus Four and how it's you know good value for money in the U.S., but in the U.K. it's three hundred and forty pounds, which is five hundred and forty-five dollars. Yeah. Gigs, so it's so you're saying it's not a very not a very good deal. Well, but you you live in a, a well, country. How much does the iPhone five C cost? Uh, it's more. It certainly is more. Yeah. But uh, if you want to if you want to compare it to say the U S price and compare it to the U K price of the Nexus four or sorry, Nexus five, it's not great. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, look. I think Google's game with this phone is to lose money to make it seem like high end phones should be cheaper. And I think that's a great game that Google's right. playing, but it doesn't necessarily make it a great like product, right? And that they've got to I, I they've got to finish they are, these phones at some point. Say so what? No, I do realize that Google ser I realize that they are literally just gateways into Google services. That's the only reason why they're making these, as far as I'm concerned. Josh is having a real photo off. Yeah, here. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just I have to say like on macro, like it couldn't really focus in on that same but, angle. But, but so this is anyhow. This to is Mark's really point, good. thank you, Mark. As yes, a, Mark. Thank as you. As a gateway to Google services, like. The Nexus 5 is not Google's equivalent of, of a Kindle device. Uh, no, because nobody buys them. <laughs> right. And lots of people buy Kindles. Right. I don't think that this phone is about being a gateway into Google services. I think it's about putting price pressure on Samsung. Yeah, what, is it, what is it about? I don't think it's about that either because I don't think it puts any pressure on anybody because they go, look, this is a niche device that nobody's it's really like buying. A, it's like a hobby for them. It, it's not even a hobby. Like I don't even understand it anymore. Like I thought it was about making the most cutting edge phone you could make to show off all the features. Here's what I think it is. I think this is a dev device. I think that's what they're doing. They yeah. need a dev device for their latest version that of their software. Kick -ass. Yeah, and, 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 and they're saying... You know what? We'll sell a few of them too. Like we're gonna make the dev device anyhow. We have yeah. thousands of developers who are gonna want them. Why we're not rich. sell them? If somebody right, we're Google. If somebody wants them, LG will just change the body shape a little bit. We'll take off your skin and I'm, we'll sell. I'm it. into that theory. No. I mean, because I don't really see another. And you know I'm, what? You know who doesn't take pictures? Developers. But they advertise the hell. <laughs> they advertise the hell. Developers don't have children that they, they want to remember later in life. The hell out of the Nexus Seven. Yeah. That is a real product That's for them. That's their Kindle. That is their Kindle, and I think they're actually gaining some traction with it. Like, those commercials are good. They're cheap. The thing is cheap. And I, it's a decent tablet. I have an Nexus 7. I, I, I really like it. I think Apple's pricing on the iPad mini is all all broken around the Nexus 7. Because I well, think 299 for the non-Retina non mini is an old, an old processor, in effect. Right. But people um, don't know that. But I mean, but it's the it's the old stuff, right? right. It's it's right. Apple's old one, and Google's newest one is two twenty nine, right? And I think that's and and, that's and Amazon's newest one is one ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, but one uh, but the iPad runs iPad apps. It runs iPad apps, but most people are are aren't it's, like aren't like man, I need Garage Band. I'm, no, I, I agree so, with you. I, the apps are way better. I am in the position of recommending tablets currently, and it's why yeah, are you in th such a position? Um, he's, he's a he well, I don't want to spoil care of, I don't care of kids. I don't want to spoil it, but my brother's thinking about getting an iPad for his kids. I hope, you, I hope they're not listening to this. Yeah, yeah cover your ears, yeah, uh, little. Uh, maybe he's thinking about it. Wait, one of your kids, one of the kids named maybe. No, no, Kaziah. Oh, Kaziah. 
He's probably not Zion Zion and Zion. Those are some deep, serious names. <laughs> Those are like names yeah. of people in the Matrix. They're yeah. Bible references. Yeah, which well, is obviously. Like the Matrix, yeah, the Matrix. Yeah, yeah okay, clearly. Um, <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> but I, I'm telling them to get the iPad mini for a kid. The, the cheap one. Yeah, get the cheap, the $300 iPad mini for yeah. a kid. They're not going to whine over the retina. Yeah. They're not going to whine over the it's processor. It would be amazing if a kid and, was like, and why apps, isn't this a retina display? The apps on there are so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I, I'm not a child, so I'm not normally in the market for child apps, but I was looking through the iPad. I mean, I would like to point out that you did show up here in an Elmo shirt. And you have stickers. That's swag. That's true. Yeah, yeah no, Elmo I swag. Do, do you shirt. like my stickers? I'm just saying. I think you know. Did a you get bit a new more. computer? Yeah, I got the, the 11 inch. I'm really jealous of that computer. You guys got the newest one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Pretty great. Do we have any other topics besides the Nexus 5 camera? Let's get into them. Let's talk about them. You didn't realize we do an actual Verge cast today, did you? We thought we were just going to be nostalgic. (laughs) We're just going to congratulate each other. This has been been as bad as any Verge cast, I think. And I think that's really why the people come back. It really is. Uh, I I listen to... I've been listening to the podcast a little bit. Okay. Uh, how are, how are I listened doing? to the last episode. Yeah, with Chris, which you guys were not on. And yeah. You really enjoyed it. <laughs> and Ellis did a Paul impression. And also, can I point out? Oh, oh! Can I point some, out some, rhyme, some anger here? Can I point out that it's really weird <laughs> when you get to the end of the podcast and somebody says Paul, and I'm like touched and emotional, and it's awesome that you guys remember me and you say Paul. But, like, for somebody who doesn't know this podcast and watches it, and they're like, hey, this is a relatively safe, kind of yeah. kind of awkward, kind of, uh, you know, they talk over each other, and, and then they get to the end of the podcast, and saying? someone says, Paul, yep. and they're like, what did I just watch? Yeah. You think it says that? And that's really the, the feeling I want to give I just wanted listeners. you to know that I was the Paul. You, the stranger who yeah, made the mistake the, the of little, watching for the first time today. A little backstory is I have a this hard time saying my name. God, this is... Nightmare. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm at Starbucks. I'm at Starbucks. It's been and they, this way the whole time. And they ask me my name. Can I do? Can I do? I want to do like a, a DVD. And I tell them my track. name. I want to do like a. a the, and they have the to ask for it again. The background. Yeah, I'll this, never forget. This is what I wanted to die. This, this, <laughs> they don't. They didn't get it the first time. I said Paul, great. and they're like, "What was that?" I can just see the email right, right now. There with their I love you guys, but cup. can you please stop talking over each other? It's very <laughs> distracting. Do you think we could do one of those, like, you know, when they have presidential debates, they have, like, live audience reaction meters? Yeah, with the, with oh. the, the DVD track yeah. would just be, like, how much I want to do a suicide. Yeah. <laughs> just a, just a, <laughs> turn it up. Oh, I really wanted to go at this point. Okay, so uh, <laughs> what's, what else? Right, what 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 is, there's a few things to My talk about. My hair is doing something weird. Uh, there, are, there are many things to talk about. One, uh, FAA Today. Ugh. Told us. I'm very happy about this. Cell phones and electronics and airplanes. Nick Bilden is you you kind of don't care about. Delta says they're going to start doing it tomorrow. Here's what I don't care. Here's what I think. I, I I hope. I really hope, and I pray, and I hope, and I pray. And also hope that <laughs> you also there pray? is really no, there's really no danger whatsoever. There's no danger whatsoever. But, but do you know how I know this? But if there's a crash, <laughs> because you babies couldn't wait 10 minutes. What do you do when you're waiting? Just read a magazine, which exists. No, here's, a here's, that, here's, read a book. Here's Hold my on. theory. I hope, I really hope that there's nothing goes wrong and I want Nick Bilton to be right and I'm happy for Here, him, that he, Here, him that he won. Here's the thing. But if somebody dies because you babies couldn't wait mm. 10 minutes to use your God. freaking kid. There you go. Cool. <laughs> I, that's for okay, the kids. Okay, okay. So I'm, I, then, then you really you should feel you should feel horrible. Here's the thing. I do, but no one look. No one's dying. Here's yet. how I know. Yet. And here's here's the two I hope things to God I'm worried it about. Doesn't happen. One, I'm worried uh, that sales of print publications are going to fall off a cliff. Right. Oh, that's that's, that's what you think that's what's been keeping them going I, is airports. I do really because I buy a car and driver in every airport that I'm in. I'm not no, going to do like, it anymore. Uh, some people really uh, like magazines, and I love car and driver, and I love that magazine. But yeah, I don't read need it, to read buy it. Anymore. On, read it on your iPad Mini. See how it feels. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what I'm going to do because I can use it now. Second, there's one thing I like. It's a and magazine one thing, on and this a small is just personal. Screen, the wrong shape. This is personal for me. I'm sad that my my tiny feeling of pulling one over on the man. Uh-huh. Has now been removed from yeah, the you just when you're listening to music and, as they yeah. take off. I'm like, oh, they're just noise canceling. Yeah. I do that all oh, yeah. the time. And party creating. Cases. I'm like, they're like, turn it off. I'm like, yep, I'm just going to hit the sleep <laughs> yeah, button yeah. on this right, while I listen. Mode, I, like, I, I like listen to the new Lord record. It off. I like literally yeah, Of course, turn you're off. a law-abiding citizen. I the rest of us are you love abiding. Laws. You love, love abiding, abiding the law. You are, of all the people I know who abide. But it sucks. 
Yeah. It sucks. It sucks to abide. It sucks to abide. You know what? Now you don't have to abide. Well, I do. I will well, continue to abide. Well, you're going to abide by doing whatever you want. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah, you're going to abide by having freedom. I just hope for the your sake. Have freedom. You know what? You know what? One day, one day, I want to I want to get on an airplane, pull, <laughs> pull out a book. Yeah. Read that book through takeoff, flight, and landing. You can do that. Of my own volition. You can do that right now. Non-digitally. I know. But like, what? wait, Paul. Why do you want to do that? Like, I want to feel like, like I want to. But I'm like saying, I why is that still a desire? I want to have you. the freedom. But why? You know what I mean? But you do. You key. currently have you that know, when freedom. You, when you like, 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 let's say you put, if you put somebody on a couch, Paul. This and, is like saying and, you. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on. I want to hear this. If someone's <laughs> this got is, a, this is going to be good. <laughs> suicide. If you put somebody on a couch, <laughs> go on, and they have a TV. Go on. They're not. They're, they're not going to want to leave. What? <laughs> if you put. What does that mean? <laughs> if you put a cage around that couch and TV, they're going to want to get out because they'll feel trapped. I just don't want to feel oh, trapped anymore. Oh, oh. What, you know? what if there's a what, what if there's a way to get out that Wait, through another way? Hold on. Like by not abiding. <laughs> by thinking about it. By thinking <laughs> your way out. <laughs> Wait I think what he's saying is if you're comfortable and enjoying yourself. I want to be able to do that. But if I feel like I like, oh, I got to get my phone time in, you know, like I don't have to worry what? about that. What? I'm just doing what I choose to do on an airplane. Paul, let me that just are say this to you. Perfectly legal on or off an airplane. I don't know other than smoking. another actual person. There's not another person in my life hmm. who has more conclusively proven that they are not tempted by their phone or the Internet and they can manage such it's temptation. True. You know, but, another thing yeah, about I'm just saying, five I'm saying I, I want, want choice. About. I want freedom and choice. You have it. But what you're what you're saying to me is like I it's like hey, a hey, man hey, saying hey, I've thing. always wanted here's a glass thing. of water. Here's the thing. And it's like just have one. If you'd walked up to That's me a good point. You know what it, that is? What, what it's if, uh, it's self self punishment, really. Yeah. If you walked just read up the to book. me and say, Hey Paul, you leave the internet for one year or we'll fire you. I mean that that is what I said. Disclaimer pointing out disclaimer was not said. It was not I'm, said. I might it was, it was sort of the opposite, actually. As, but I the, might have <laughs> left. I might have left the internet. I might have learned some valuable lessons. But I would have been pissed at you guys the whole time. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. But I did it of choice. So I don't yeah. understand now. So you want to read a book but on you've an airplane? Always, you've always had the choice. What we're fighting about is you oh, want to read a book on an airplane. I see. Hold up. What you're saying is you've always had the choice to get a physical book, take it onto the plane, <laughs> open it during takeoff. Begin reading it. Read it throughout the flight. Right. Read it throughout landing. I can be and then hold on, and then leave the plane. But now, right. and that was all you could do because right. you couldn't you have in your candle. You couldn't have your candle. You were you were free. Cage. You were free, but inside of a cage. Right now, true freedom is known. Mm -hmm. And what <laughs> is going on? <laughs> true freedom is the, oh, it's a cage couch. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> I have yeah. a number of questions. Wow, you picked that up really about quickly. this image. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now that a lot of questions now about that what's you, happening now there. Now that, that you're able to taste true freedom, which mm -hmm. is yeah. reading a Kindle during takeoff and landing, right? You are gonna do that, right? Because because I don't know what the because there's nothing. I don't have anything after because why well, I don't have it. I, yeah. Did you feel oppressed? By the rules? I, I want to be an iconoclast that follows the rules. You're the worst. Please what? leave. What? <laughs> <Can you, laughs> I rebel a, by perfectly go back following to Colorado. the rules. Anybody who says, I want to be an iconoclast, <laughs> like that's a thing that I think I'm going to be, mm -hmm. just, yeah. get, just, go, just go right now. Go back to Skype. I was flying here from Colorado, and, and I'm reading a book. The girl next to me is reading a book. Wait, what book are you reading? Um, the the J.D. Sollinger Nine Stories. Okay, what book is she reading? I didn't look. Did you feel there was a love connection happening? A little bit. Really? Was she no. cute? No, I didn't. Not at all. I didn't really not get in your a age range. Yeah, I don't know. You don't think about that kind of stuff. I did not look closely. Okay, okay. <laughs> go on. I uh, want to. I want to get more of like a Julia Roberts sort of rom com situation yeah, yeah. going on. Yeah, you need a meet cute airplane. No, no, no. But so like during takeoff when it's yes. like bumpy and okay. stuff, my yeah. thing is to put down my book and close my eyes to sleep. So I get because yeah. I get to nauseated. go to sleep. But oh. she put her uh, book down and closed her eyes and then held your hand. And then I felt like I couldn't. Put down my oh, because you didn't want to. We you don't want to sleep. You don't want to sleep. Were you sitting next her. to each other? Yes. Yeah. Wait, you didn't Paul, want to sleep together. You know, her <laughs> eyes were closed. 
She didn't. She would, she she would have no it way of knowing what you were doing. It wasn't about her knowing. It was just about doing the same thing as this somebody else. This must be what it's like. Like people who work at insane asylums <laughs> when they when they when they bring in the new patient and you and you're like, tell me. And they're like, they're doing the check-in process and all that stuff. And then they bring them in. They're like, like what tell is your me, deepest tell fear? me what's been or just tell me what's been going on with you. Yeah. And then they do that. They tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it must feel like. For, for that person, for what I just felt. I'm yeah. just saying I hope the FAA isn't, isn't pulling my leg because I'm excited. Because you're excited about freedom. Because you close your eyes and you don't want a hand on your leg with your eyes closed. I think we all know how that goes. That's right. That is not That's a cool right. feeling. No. You know, you're in bed, you're on a chair, in a chair on a plane. Suddenly you feel somebody pulling at your leg yeah. with your eyes closed. Yeah. You wake up and it's a monster on the wing. Right. You know. They call the FAA. The Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone yeah. movie. Film. Yeah, movie film. Do you do a thing uh, to force yourself to go to sleep on red eye flights? I can't sleep on red eyes. I can't uh, sleep on any flights because I I've, I've discovered for that like our 20... staff all has a different collection of really weird tricks. There's only one trick. It's called Ambien. Uh, well, Christian like slow slams, release Ambien. Christian, one of our video guys, slams a beer and then mm -hmm. like pass, which I makes sense. Slam a beer. I Jordan, mean, a, a be one beer. Jordan, that's like uh, having Jor a uh, sip of water. Uh, one of our, another one of our video directors uh, was like, "You got to drink like four cups of coffee three hours before your flight, and the caffeine crash will take you oh, down." That's interesting. Which is terrible. why not do? Why not combine that with a beer? Uh, and my really... my morning plan is I eat a McGriddle. From McDonald's. <laughs> that's good. That's Here's, with uh, that is which, by the way, is like right a there. bomb. Like that should like oh, yeah. and then it's like your body's like shut like, has it shut like down. weaving I, down the aisle. I, uh, I haven't had a McGriddle in so long. It's oh, it really sound, a weird it sounds food. Good. It's not a. No wait, let me just be clear. I, I mean, wanna, eating McGriddle is like I want to get. Can I get? I want to get straight. It's like the future's on, exploding in your mouth. That's can, right. No, it's like it's a completely synthesized food. Like that is not. It is a synthesized food. Can I? That's why it comes out of a tube. Can we just get? This is spun wildly out of control. Can I get a read? I just want to get clear on what is on a McGriddle. It, so first off, first off, <laughs> McGriddle is, just to be clear, the bread component of a McGriddle is made of... It's like they. It's, it's made of. of it's like a pancake. It's like, it's like a pancake. Pan it's a pancake. It's a pancake. There it is. Okay. It has McDonald's okay. logo so on it. It's it's a, a, but no, but this, looks, a, this looks. By the way, I don't eat meat, but this looks. It's a compromise so between it's a ridiculous. Bit, like a I might biscuit be a little bit a hungry. Pancake. What are the odds we could get some sandwiches <laughs> in here? Can we get some McGriddles in here? Are we doing four hours? <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep going. I mean, right. the thing is, if I eat a McGriddle, we won't do 10 more minutes because I will be on the ground. We'll just slam three cups of coffee. That's it. But that's why my jam. I'll be honest with you. I need a drink. Ross, what's our situation with drinks what you want? yo what do you have mcgriddle i mean I'm whatever go, whatever you taste they make do you have whiskey of. we're out of whiskey i mean i work what here. are we what are we out of <sighs> we're out of mcgriddle you have vodka <laughs> do you have any cr I, I, ross is very well, not subtly different hat. telling us saying? that he is not actually when did a you change your hat <laughs> right well, he's he's like, I don't know. well i'm I, sorry I, you shouldn't be in the room then <laughs> Who else we, are we going to do? We can can't the next get up. Rant, can we do the next 200 episodes with like a bartender in the room? Yeah, that is a great just idea. Just kind of like shaking you know, I read an article in the New York Times. They said that's a real sign of status when you have a bartender at one of your parties. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Think about it. We could finally be <laughs> we there. We finally be classy. Finally make it. Actually, one of the we first. Can, we could call it, we right, could call fine, it bar it's chat. It's fine. Just whatever, you know, some crocodile, just a little battery some, acid. If you have some uh, windshield, we, windshield some wiper fluid. Let me get gold up in, up in the cup. Here. You, don't, you really don't want to get on camera, do you? Why not? Here you, Here you go. Just a phantom Here. hand reaching in. Take this. Look at this. Oh, nope. Just a phantom body. Whole body. Right. I don't know. I'm just Whole body situation here. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Anyhow, getting so back on topic. Uh, so the <laughs> Nexus 5 was released today <laughs> and uh, with Kit Kat, Android 4.5. What do you think about the camera? Oh, Not crazy about the camera, <laughs> right, have, though. It's macro. another big story macro. to talk oh, about. Yeah. yeah. There is actually a huge story to talk about. Oh, right? really? A, a, a more NSA crap this week. Yeah. Uh, Edward Snowden it's has dark. taken a job as tech support. I don't get this. In Russia. This is some kind of weird so tabloid. This is like the guy, Greg Packer, the guy who sits at the front of the iPhone line. Yeah. His whole job is to sit at the front of the iPhone line. That's so what he does for a living. He wasn't there this time. I Hold on a second. I didn't see any Packer stories. Hold on. Yes. Well, there's a, the New Yorker just did a video on him, but I was going to say that he now gets paid to wear like somebody's like lame T-shirt that's like, you know, it's like it's like virus cleanse six thousand. He like right. gets paid a hundred dollars wear their T-shirt. Right. That's what this Edward Snowden job is. He's getting tax support. It's like no, this is like some kind of like propaganda. You mean like how like Scoble has a job at yeah Scoble, Scoble has a job at Rackspace. Right? <laughs> like he's he's working there. Like what is oh there's Greg Packer. 
This is the worst. Uh, why am I looking <laughs> at you. that? Thank you know, Greg you. Packard, I almost uh, uh, got into a scuffle uh, during the iPad relaunch. I remember, relaunch. I remember that. that yeah. Why is it still on the screen? <laughs> you guys could, I was going to say, you just <laughs> Why would you do that to the people? Uh, but, uh, but, uh. No, so you think Snow, this is a stunt. Like, Snowden's taking publicity money. I think he actually, like, needs to get a job. Like, I, I don't think, like, people in Russia are like, yes, let's, no, no, we'll just live here. No, Russia is not known for, for its charity. Is that a thing? It can be a hard country, hard people. Really? It's cold. I don't know. But anyhow, uh, I think something's fishy about this situation. I mean, mostly what I know about Russia is from the novel Hunt for eat? Red October. Is this the, really the biggest NSA news is that he got a job? No, no we have the more. Big, we're, the huge, work, we're working on The huge, okay. that's just the hilarious piece of news from oh, today. Right, right, thank you. The huge news is... Uh, the revelation that the NSA has tapped directly into the fiber optic links between Google and Yahoo's data centers. So Google nice. and Yahoo both lease private lines. And because, like, some of the data centers are overseas, the NSA is like, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's international stuff. We, have, we were chartered there, and they've tapped directly to it. There's a, if you look at this slide... Uh, current efforts Google, which looks like a brain. It's like the right side is oh Google. Oh, boy. Wait, the, 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 the left side is the public internet. The right side is Google. And in the middle, if we can zoom in on that, Can't it wait. says, here's where SSL is added and removed with smiley a smiley face. face. Yes. And it's yes. like, what the hell is this? There's nothing, so, like, there's nothing like imagining the people who are doing this stuff. They yeah. all wear brown suits and ha can't tie a tie properly. Yeah, yeah. And like they're like a little bit. They have some facial hair. Maybe they're not. They have a mustache. They haven't committed to a beard. Yeah. They're balding probably pretty yeah. badly, and those are the people who are reading your email. Right. And stealing your important. Right. I mean, and there's like been how many? Uh, the dude who got fired for like looking at his girlfriend with like the NSA's like supercomputer. Right. Like that. Are, that's already happened. Yeah. Right? Oh, like, well, he's like the Bernie Madoff of of the <laughs> NSA scandal. They're like, we got him. <laughs> we got the guy looking at his girlfriend. There's yeah. nothing else to see here. Everybody else is fine. Well, this is a real problem. So, like, uh, today, just now, there's a huge Facebook, Google, Apple, Microsoft, AOL, like, huge list of companies just wrote a letter is saying this, they need to reform the NSA. I mean, the, is this, the up, NSA on, is is this a, up on the verge? It should be up on the it verge. Julie, right okay. Can um, we hear the letter? Can you, you read it to read us? The yes. Can you read it in a dramatic accent? No, just do it. You want to read the whole thing? Do you want me to read it? Uh, Would you dear Mr. Irene? Chairman, ranking members and members. This is like four paragraphs. Who's this from? Who's, really this from? Who's this from? Uh, let's me get this full list here. <laughs> it's signed by their logos. Wow. AOL, a Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, and This is super weird, Yahoo. by the way. Let's like, no, but, is, but hold on. This but is I, like the next. This is, this is huge. Right. This so is huge because bill. these guys have these guys have been basically, uh, they have a. They, they, have they a, hate each other. There's a, but no, but beyond that, they have like a gag order. They can't, yeah, they can't talk about what the government is, in, is asking and them I, to do. I, I, I really think like, I don't know. I've been kind of um, laissez-faire about the whole NSA thing just because it feels so out of my control. But I really think like the policy, like the, 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 the way to start is just by making things clear and obvious and like just say right. how far they're going to go. Well, no, here's, so here's, the, here's, here's a letter. The the uh, the let me just well, read this, these oh lines of this letter. Recent disclosures company. regarding surveillance activity raise important concerns about the United States and abroad. The volume and complexity of information that has been disclosed in recent months has created significant confusion, making it difficult to identify policy prescriptions. And then they get into this stuff. We need allowing our companies to be transparent about the number and nature of requests will help the pu public understand the facts about the government's authority to compel technology companies to disclose user data. Transparency will also help us counter erroneous reports that we permit intelligence agencies direct access to our servers or that we are participants in a bulk internet records collection program. Mm -hmm. So what they're saying is people are saying that we're, we're helping you. Complicit. And we're just doing what we're required to by law, but we're not allowed to tell anybody. No, right, right. of course. That, that's the thing that is... And, I, right. yeah, and then, I and then here's the second, and then there's a follow-up. Transparency is a critical first step to an informed public debate, but it's clear that more needs to be done. Our companies believe that government surveillance practices should be reformed to include substantial enha enhancements to privacy and appropriate oversight and accountability mechanisms. So they're saying, like, first, we need to tell people what's actually going on. Second, we need to stop doing this and, mm -hmm. like, actually build in privacy. And this is what I've been... I see only one problem with this. <laughs> Asking the government to do it? That AOL is on, has, signed, has signed the document. <laughs> No, but uh, I, I, this is can definitely you pass a, that down? Well, these are the largest internet companies in the game, right? Thank I mean, you, Scott. Scott? Thank you, Scott. Weird. S Scott Kellum? Oh, nice. tell Scott I said thank you. What a wonderful gift, unless this is poison, in which case, how dare you? What do you think? 
Very smooth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, I think this knob? is an important start. I mean, like, if, if, if the government wants to go into my house, they absolutely can. And there, but there's you a mean process. they can do it yes. physically. And they, they well, no, so, but here's the but thing. There's a, there's a process. I know what it is. And I also know once they've gone into my house. Yeah, but you also know that you don't that they won't come into your house because you're not doing anything wrong. That's part of our deal with the government is that if you don't do anything wrong, they don't come into your house. Sure. Nine times out of ten, ninety nine out of a hundred, they're not busting down people's right. doors who haven't done and anything so wrong. So if they right. think if they think I'm doing something wrong, then they go to a judge and they get a warrant. They go into my house. They take my my computer with my hard drives full of uh, of gifts of Neli, mm-hmm. and um, that's a crime. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a horrible. I would crime. also like to go into your house to take <laughs> this hard drive away. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I'd like to see what's on and, it. Uh, and uh, it's also kind of obvious that they've done that. Yeah, well, well yeah, it's, it's they, obvious. They, 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 they need they, some sort of, uh, of of process that makes it obvious. Well, no, no, no. But just but that, just showing that, that, but just showing what you've done isn't the problem. It's what you're doing. Right. It, 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 it is the bulk collection. It is the interception. It is the broad search, right. and search and, 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 and then seizure, on top of it now, search and it's, seizure it's, of people's private uh, information. And it's, I mean, well, it, no, actually, and what gets me is that they're it just common sense tells you that this is wrong, right? That the government shouldn't be able to even collect your metadata about this stuff. Right. But what they're dancing through, they're they're playing legalistic games by saying, well, that data center is in Europe. And right. we, we have charter in Europe. Right, And right. it's like, well, dude, I'm still an American citizen when right. my yeah, information let's, let's is sitting on a hard way. drive in Europe. Let's put it this way. You're, when, you, when you sign up for a Google account, you have a reasonable expectation of privacy. When I put my fo- – when they ask me to – they say, we're a great place to store your photos. We'll keep them private. You can share them when you want or keep mm-hmm. them to yourself. My expectation is – and by the way, this isn't just an expectation. There are, there's stuff that they write yeah. about, my reasonable expectation of privacy. Um, that – Privacy has been violated in secret by the government. And the premise is we have to violate your privacy. You're a U.S. citizen. You've done nothing wrong. But in order to ensure that there is, there's not a terrorist attack, yeah. we have to violate your privacy. But we are not looking specifically at your stuff. We're just trying to get a sense of like where all this is going. Or right. we think there may be some you know, third, fourth, fifth connection out there. And I, and I that think, but, but the fact is, but here's the deal. I, here's what I'm saying, and I think what most Americans would say as citizens, I'm willing to accept the danger of another terrorist right. attack mm-hmm. in exchange for my continued privacy as I a mean, U.S. I, citizen. I'm not willing to accept a police state where all of my documents are viewed continuously by a secret right. part of the government right. so that maybe someday they'll find a thing because, that and, connects and, and some other stuff up. it's funny because the next... The next wave of this stuff is like crazy shit. It's like pre-crime and thought crime. It's like, it's it's well, saying it's, like, you mentioned you mentioned God, I want to kill him in an email to somebody. Right. And the next thing you know, you set off a bell somewhere, right. and there's investigators at your house saying like, we understand and, and, that you've there are examples made a death of this threat. floating around in the world. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the but, police but are already they, they, using this stuff out of context, and they 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 should be allowed to track and 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 monitor and record. Public connections that you make in public. Yeah, of course. I can things, shakes when you handshake with things. people. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> in front of the CCTV. And the hand, hand of no, yeah, I mean, I think this, like, leave you have, if you really are, if there's real data that suggests that you are part of a terrorist organization, mm-hmm. like, safety's off, fire right. at will. Well, but how does how do you see that? Data? Well, no, but you—that's the thing. Like you've got to already you, need that data. You, you can't you can't go get it exactly. I mean, you, that, just the way you exactly, can't break down my door. You can't break down yeah, every door you, in America. You, and you can't like, and pop see open, if there's something. Pop that, open people's trunks and see if right, they've got pot exactly, in there. Like, exactly. Exactly. Uh, but the problem is, I was the, talking is this, to my brother about this, and he actually put it in a really really uh, a great light that I hadn't thought about before. The the um, the police of of our country are kind of like the the. Um, what do you, what do you, what, oh, uh, God. executive in a sense like the, the the you know like you can have you could have martial law essentially like the police are the people who prosecute the laws right no they're not in, in the sense of <laughs> uh or uh execute the laws but, they execute the physic <laughs> they physically yeah, they're around execute right. they, they're the, 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 yeah. the physical manifestation of yeah. the law is that yeah. a good way to say sure it? uh in well, a way. sometimes i mean like if yes let's just for the sake of this analogy okay. And, and, is and, this and what it's it, like talking to a crazy person? <laughs> <laughs> no, no this is like that. You, you it's, like it's like and, a verge cast, and they like are 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 uh, uh, kept in check by 
the judicial branch by this lawyers is right. and this is judges, right. yes. and they have to ask judges for permission, and they have and to, and that's what keeps right. Like them a detective, check. a detective can't like I have a hunch that this guy's a murderer. Right. They have to go to a judge and say we've got to search his house. We've got good, and we have here's proof, like here's right. evidence that we have that suggests that this guy's and, a murderer. And, think, and now we're gonna get a warrant and go search his house. And the yeah. NSA, you can't just do, you can't just go search his house. The NSA's entire workings, structure, operation, and, you know, going in and getting data all needs to be subservient to or, 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 or checked by a, some similar structure. You can't have something well, in no, government so time out. with the sort of power but, 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 that the but, NSA has without a right. direct but no, check. But time out. This uh -oh. is their whole argument. The NSA has no jurisdiction over America, right? That's why they're tapping... Angela Merkel's cell phone because mm -hmm. they can. Also, because she's saying crazy stuff. <laughs> she's she's just constantly <laughs> Snapchatting. Just, uh, <laughs> no, wrong, uh, wrong. No, but that's why they can, right? I mean, that, that's there's like a scene in the movie Sneakers where yeah, like I was too many secrets. Well, no, Spoiler where Robert alert. Redford is like, oh, you're the guy who's listening to my phone, and the dude's like, no, that's the FBI. The N NSA is not chartered for domestic surveillance. I, but and I like what they're doing is they're because the internet is not respectful of boundaries, right. like political or physical boundaries. They're saying as soon as your information leaves the boundaries of the United States, which it's doing all right. the time, now we have charter to do but it. I was talking to my brother about this. With, with, um, you know, he's in the military, mm -hmm. and, and the, the military is another organization that has power to act. And that power is kept in check by a ton of regulations, and any strike that they would execute has you you have to basically have a legal proof for 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 why it is an a, right. a, appropriate but war action th that were to ever be questioned would uphold legally that that was an appropriate war action that's you know that's not our people, you know, it's like the, the military just because, well, they're not U.S. citizens, so we can shoot everybody. Like the military <clears throat> follows a very close code. No, that's right. Is, that's is, right. Is right. But there's check. a difference I mean, between shooting people and spying on. And we decided, is there, is there and we've Neil decided I? that it's 100 percent OK to spy on everybody. We've, I think the but fact is, but the thing is, oh we've, my God. we've mostly given the NSA the right to spy on things. Yeah, can we, can right. we? Because, you know, because the balance of the equation is that if we give them all kinds of power to spy on things, we probably won't have to use the military as much. Sure. But or less. <laughs> as, well, I said as much. Yeah, as I mean, much we right, we right, keep right. using the hell out of the right, but right. like that's but that's the I, I equation. Think, I think, I but think, what's happening is that they're they're turning around because the, because the internet is where the people are right. and now the people are spread out over the world and that old boundary of like you can operate outside that border but not inside this right. one doesn't exist Look, for the our fact, behavior the, the fact it's like is, they're sneaking into our borders but the fact is but the fact is the NSA it, is illegal illegal immigrants but here's the here's the thing i mean the, the, the long and short of it is this like we have to accept and i think maybe weirdly we all agree on this but we have to accept that there is and we always will be a danger, uh, a threat. There's always a threat, right? <laughs> that threat yeah. is you. Well, what? <laughs> no, no, no. But but hold on. But but we have to accept that that um, you could be the safest, the most careful. The you, you could spy on everybody. You could you could have every communication. But there's always going to be a threat. Like this is this is this this kind of surveillance. This kind of broad surveillance is a is a fear based reaction he, to something. He who gives up freedom for safety oh, deserves it. No, either. God. Wait, what is it? <laughs> what was it? No, go. Who get, was that? Get out. Was it Ron what? Paul? It was the Benjamin Franklin. Go. What get out of here. What's wrong with Benjamin Franklin? Go. Benjamin Franklin no. was a true My patriot. My Wi Fi is messed up on here. Now I'm going to have to reconnect. Wait, yeah, and I think was, you deserve it for I, throwing I that old hear the quote. stale ass quote. In what my was face. the quote? He who God, come that's on. cool. Just Godwin's Law, my Verge cast. Safety. Yeah, go guys, ahead, go do ahead. it. No, he who gives up freedom for safety yeah, deserves neither. Yeah, I know. I agree. That's ridiculous. But Let me tell you something. It's a great quote. It's not worth giving up our right as Americans to to privacy. It all goes oh, back God. to the Patriot Act. I oh, really yes, it does. Wait, are you pro or <sighs> are you pro? I'm against the, I'm no. against the Patriot Act. I'm against the Patriot Act, too. <laughs> Everyone I, I, I don't I agree on that. This is happening. I can't believe it either. Really but here's the thing. The Patriot Act ruined everything. It basically was like at a time of the greatest fear in America, we were like, hey, guys, 
stuff's really messed up. Let's yeah. just sign this crazy thing into law and we're going to use it for all sorts of stuff. Don't worry about it. And it's been a nightmare ever since. I'm pretty sure that's why we had a financial collapse in this country. It's a Patriot Act. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, by the way, no regulation I, I of think, anything I think ever. the government absolutely... It, it probably did, yeah. actually. The government absolutely needs to have the power to look in on... Can we just can we just talk about any? So you agree? So then you agree that Bush was a terrible a president, right? Oh is God! That, Why that, no? Are you, no? Suicide! <laughs> suicide! He's, it's his era. Is the Patriot can Act we just era? Anything? Anything else? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about abortion. Just kidding. I'm kidding. But seriously, folks. <laughs> The new Nexus 5 with Kit Kat has some interesting features that I would yeah. like to talk about. Guys, this Paul's is, back on the Verge cast. You know, it really is. <laughs> but, you know, Paul did take the Verge. We, we, with Paul I'm on sorry, the Verge Paul. cast on I'm a regular sorry, basis, your computer. he took it. Yeah, that was rude. I just you owe him an apology. I did. Even I just, you did just apologize. Yeah. Oh. But a better, a better, more, <laughs> but a bigger, a more heartfelt apology. I don't think you really meant that. Yeah, I agree. Can we just see something really with feelings? Well, I can you do some tears? About my can feelings. you cry on demand? No, I don't know how. Okay, that's right. Have you seen that film? Well, it's, it's on it's, demand. I believe cry. Who says that? The Starring thing James is to Franco. cry on demand. You have to think of something sad. I'm Marissa Tomei. Does and I refuse to acknowledge sad things. Yeah, cry. There's a new James Franco. It's available on demand. Really? No. Cry. You said cry on demand. There's a movie called Cry. No. Okay. Maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> what else right. do we have to talk about, Eli? What else is in there? How many? How long have we been doing this? Oh, by the way, can we talk about ninety Lou? crazy minutes? Can we talk about Lou Reed? Like, as, uh, as oh, yeah. totally can we can bring we, it way can down? We, totally different. Uh, uh, Lou Reed, best segue well, uh, ever. Okay, no, so, so, so the, 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 the are you? I don't know. Are you a Velvet Underground fan? I don't so know the, what your story the, is. The famous, you know, the line is that like, you know, like what is it? Only like a thousand <laughs> people bought Velvet Underground. I'm not gonna go Google. Quote yeah, you know, Google I don't it. Just quote Google it. Just well, Google no, you can Google that. Yeah, you're quote. like the famous line is one second. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knows that old adage. That one, in one moment I have to look this up. I'm sorry. Uh, Lou, no, but Lou Reed, I was very, bum uh, very, very bummed and very depressed when I heard the news. Yeah. You know, a lot of people. I my favorite Lou Reed record is Street Hassle. Interesting. And yeah, well, a lot of people are like, oh, I love the Velvet Underground, and and and. You know, um, uh, there's. It's not his most. It's not his most popular record, Street Hassle. Yeah, but it's got some amazing songs. Like and the, the song, song Street Hassle, the song Street Hassle, which features Bruce Springsteen, is amazing. It is like just a crazy. He just appears in the middle of the song and like said does some beat poetry right. and then just jams out. He's like I'm out of here. Like references Born to Run a little bit. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, he's he's because you know he's, he's an a one can I confess um, something to no, you? So the line, the Velvet <laughs> You've never Underground's heard Street Hassle. No, I've heard Street Hassle. I just really dislike Bruce Springsteen. Well, yeah, I, I don't like Bruce Springsteen either. I mean, I, I, there's not I mean, I like him as a man. I just don't like his music. <laughs> as you a like, guy. I mean, I like drinking no, no, as a him. person. Like, he's none great. of his albums oh, yeah. or, or most of them? No, I mean, I keep... Well, uh, Nebraska's, obviously. I no. love Nebraska. Sure, why not? Who wouldn't? I don't. Okay, anyhow, go on. What were you going to say? No, Vel Velvet Underground's oh, first album only sold a few thousand copies, but everyone who bought one formed a band. Yeah, mm. and uh, I I I can't I don't I wasn't around, but you weren't around in I feel 1960. Like that, that quote has been repurposed about like the first Ramones album, the first well, Pistols but, but, album. But what, what it meant for me? No, like, the Ramones. Hold on, the Ramones formed in a cauldron of activity in <laughs> yeah. the New York scene. I mean, they they were certainly not. It, they did not created the London. They scene. did not. Well, it did. It did. It did. Yes, I mean, if you've read "Please Kill Me," you would know, of course, that they were highly influenced. The Sex you know, Pistols. We, were, sound, we sound like huge old posts right we're now. We're huge posers. Okay, well, anyhow, so, so, <laughs> what, what happened for me? Have you is, seen a picture is, of Malcolm uh, 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 Steve Jones? Malcolm McLaren turned into like an old English grandma over yeah, time. Sure, but Steve Jones now looks completely insane. Does he? Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen a recent photo. You gonna pull it up? Okay, yeah, yeah. go ahead, Paul. I grew up with pretty bad. You know, '90s alternative ska. Um, Can you give us some taste? examples, specific Five examples? Iron Frenzy. Nope. Yep. Orange County Supertones. No. Can you um, name a band that I've actually heard of? Probably not. MXPX. Yeah, I've heard of them. Um, that's what I grew up in, and uh, and then you know, early 2000s. I you heard White Light, White Heat. I heard The Strokes. Oh. <laughs> and I was reading re reviews of The Strokes. Yeah. And they kept on comparing them to the. El uh, Velvet Underground and television, yeah. and I never heard of God, either. God, television's amazing. Yeah, and so I, Marquee Moon, yeah, unbelievable. So record. I like looked up Velvet Underground on what, Morpheus or whatever I was using. The you steel called music Morpheus, at the time. and you're like, I need an operator. No, because it was Ma <laughs> Ma <laughs> Napster, <laughs> and then and Neo it was, was like, and Neo was like Trinity, <laughs> Morpheus. Whoa, well, what did anyhow, I go ahead. It was before LimeWire, <laughs> so I think it was Sorry. Morpheus. You're right, it was Morpheus. Um, 
And I started listening to the Velvet Underground, and they <laughs> like fundamentally changed. Sample of Keanu Reeves saying Morpheus. Like, changed, changed my Morpheus. My taste in music, like it really, like they changed your life. They, they changed my life it very much. <laughs> what was the, what was the first Velvet Underground song you heard? Do you remember? Well, the first oh. one I remember being obsessed with, and still am obsessed with, is Heroin. I think that's just such an, an incredible song. Oh God, that's terrible. If that was a picture, yeah, of that's a picture. Of Jim. Um, a heroin it's, is heroin is. Uh, you know, you want to hear something then, really. And, you want to hear something really funny and also horrible and embarrassing. Uh, is it but about whatever. Heroin? No, but uh, yeah, nineteen ninety three. Billy Idol released a record called Cyberpunk. Oh God, worst <laughs> yeah. record which ever had a made. Cover, of which had a cover of heroin on it. It did. Yeah, an insane cover of I heroin on it. it. Yeah, it's really bad. And that was that was how I became aware of the Velvet Underground really? and Lou Reed. Yeah, is is through. <laughs> is through <laughs> Billy That's Idol. Amazing. Are you kidding me? Ninety three. I mean, I was a little kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, because I'd never heard. How would you? My right, parents listen right. to Frank Sinatra. My right. parents listened exclusively to Hindi film songs, and I still That's awesome. got, I still got to Lou Reed through something <laughs> yeah. better. What did what you, you get? What, what did you get yours? to? How did you get to Lou Reed? Uh, through from the Clash to the Pistols to the Ramones. To you're, working way, you're working your way back to credibility. Well, no, I mean, I was <laughs> obsessed. Like, no, yeah. the Clash is okay, but then the Sex And then there was a cover of Sweet Jane on a Buzzcocks live album that nice. I had, and then I then I hit the... You're like, what is this? Yeah. Where did this come huh. from? So it's funny now, like... I'm like, surprised that anybody's first exposure is not Sweet Jane, actually. Well, it's fun. what's funny is, is uh, you know, when you think about the opportunity that, kid, that kids, that people have Guys, now... You sound, I always sound, sound like so a billion old. years old. God. No, but when you think about what it's like now versus what it was like... 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, even in some. I mean, you're talking about Morpheus. No, I had to dig through racks for some of this stuff. And, and like you had to dig through virtual racks, like Morpheus and LimeWire. That, right. that now, shit was now, not not readily accessible. You had to go had, spelunking down if to I had find audio it. now. Yeah. Like I would have discovered this probably a lot quicker. That's why it's like it's like it one it's like kind of scary, but also amazing fact, to think about was, how kids are learning it was about right music around that now. Time, it was right around that time I got Rhapsody. And Rhapsody had love Rhapsody. had a visual. How come Rhapsody's never hired you as a spokesperson? <laughs> <laughs> they, they still email me. I'm pigeons. just gonna just throw and it I, out there and say if they do make you that job no, offer, the, you should the not last time, join that company. The last time I talked with Rhapsody PR on the phone, I was almost crying when I was telling them about how <laughs> bad, yeah, how bit, bad their bit rate, rate yeah. is yeah. on their mobile app. I was like, I'm over you guys. I've got Mog. I've got RDO. Yeah, I've RDO got high quality, high quality playback, man. That stuff <laughs> is over. sounds good. So, um, but but. They had like a, a way to like backtrack. Like this band was influenced by these bands, and so I started doing that with all the bands I was interested in. But it really started with like with Velvet. But I gotta say, um, you know, Lou Reed. When you listen to his stuff, Street Hassle is a great record, by the way. If you like want, I think if you want the full Lou Reed experience, like Velvet Underground. Can you is, do the noise guitar stuff? Can you can metal you, machine music? Can you sit? No, that? I mean, I mean, we I put one. We did a playlist for the for the post about him dying, and we put I put. Um, I think it's the first track from Metal Machine Music as the last song. Uh -huh. It's like 17 minutes long, <laughs> yeah. and it is insane. But did you, you know, did you read that interview? There's a great interview from Spin. It's a terrible interview. It's a recent interview. It's from mm -hmm. a few years ago, and like he gets pretty mad at the interviewer, at the at the yeah. at the guy at the guy interviewing him. But he talks about like Metal Machine Music, and he's like, I thought that was so. He's like, I thought this was so cool. It was like pure guitar. Mm -hmm. Like I thought this was so rock and roll, and people were like, didn't get it at yeah. all. But um, have you read his review of of Jesus? Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. And review he of Jesus is really good. That 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 that. Making something abrasive like that, but you don't, you're not doing it to like piss people off or be abrasive. It's truly what you think is interesting. Yeah. I mean, and I think, but so on Street Hassle, I think if you listen to it, it's a really good, you get a really good sense of um, who Lou Reed was because you get a song like Street Hassle, which is this like sort of orche orchestral, like long drug story. Mm -hmm. And then there's, a, there's like, I want to be black is on that record, which is, Literally him saying about how he wants to be a black guy, and it's like pretty much – it's really racist. Mm -hmm. It kind of sounds racist, but it's also like Lou Reed. Like here's the thing about Lou Reed. You just imagine he's one of these guys – like I always think about Mick Jagger in this way. He gets to say like, whatever he wants. Well, he gets to say whatever he wants because he's like probably done everything. Yeah. Like he's just been in every situation possible. Right. Like imagine like whatever kind of weird – like race situation he may yeah. have got like he's some weird sex situation he got himself into like a just an uncomfortable conversation with somebody like i have to imagine crocodile. yeah crocodile <laughs> the guy doesn't have to imagine like lou reed and mick guys like lou reed and mick jagger yeah. have been in every possible 
like permutation of a situation that could exist. Mm -hmm. And so like they can basically say whatever because like, <laughs> like, like you've done it you've done it all. Like you've been <laughs> that, to the high, the peaks yeah. and the valleys of all of existence. You've had every exchange possible. You've had every weird like, you know, sexual encounter. What's the story? It's like they, I like that's the one you keep coming back to. Well, no, to. because it's like, you know, there's that story about how like David Bowie and Mick Jagger were found yeah. in bed by, you know, somebody's wife or whatever. Yeah. And you know, Lou Reed is all about like he sings about like it's like, you know, he's singing about like transvestites and being like gay and being straight and he's a heroin addict and he's cleaned up. And it's like, yeah. all this, it's just like, you've been all over the place. Like, I don't know. My life has been very boring by comparison. <laughs> My life has been very tame. Like I've done very little, yeah. You know, I've never like found myself in a gutter with a needle hanging out of my arm going right. like, well, where am I? Oh, and you're in like Berlin. No, that's that's never was? happened to me. Although we did go to Germany together. <laughs> Although we did right. go to Berlin that one time. You guys Paul and I, our first trip, we went to IFA together and I learned so much about Paul. I learned so much about Josh. That was like, by the way, I don't know if you remember this, but I'm just thinking about it. That was like... I was like, let's shoot some video here. Do you remember? Yeah. And we were like, and we were like trying to do like an intro for a video. And I was like, I look terrible. This Josh is horrible. Josh was not secure in the, the no. configuration of his face. I'm still not. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at this. It's a, uh, it's like a horn. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it, right. it was something like Samsung MP3 player. Yeah. We were like trying to do an intro for a Samsung MP3 player video. It did not <laughs> Good. Go, did not I'm go. glad we threw our resources at that project. <laughs> there were no resources. <laughs> It was Paul. It was Paul with like a whatever camcorder. No, that he was owned. that was back in the day exactties? when we had those exacties. No man, I man, started. Exactly. Ricker no, no, no. Exacties. This is this is pre. This is like pre Ricker pre exacty. Can we somehow stop saying things that make us seem old? Just an idea that I'm having in my mind. Look, when I was coming up, <laughs> we had exacties. Yeah, we didn't have iPhones. You couldn't Wi-Fi your stuff. On this or two, or, <laughs> on this our second birthday. You couldn't no, Wi-Fi. None of the kids were airdropping. No, but listen. But I. Uh, uh, but uh, anyhow. All right. We should. We've got a, a ten minutes left. We should. We talk have. About, we should talk about the future. I saw Lou Reed live a couple years ago. Did you really? Mm -hmm. How was it? It was the Phil Glass well, let's talk benefit about the past. concert. I mean, whatever really? you want to do. It was. Is fine he was. Me. That sounds Lou amazing. Was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I saw. I've seen. He, I saw. He reads I've his lyrics off of a screen. I saw Lou Reed several times at shows in New York. Here's the thing about Lou Reed that was cool. I mean, he was he died when he died. He died at 71. Mm -hmm. Like for several years, I have seen Lou Reed at sh really cool. I think really cool weird shows in New York. Like you know, in fact, that interview in Spin, he talks about like what's on his his iPod. It's like battles. And holy fuck, like weird bands, like bands that are not mainstream in any way, shape, or form. That's a band, by the way. I wasn't just swearing for the sake mm -hmm. of it. I've heard of Battles. Yeah, Battles. Battles is uh, is uh, fronted by... I didn't uh, know they were still doing... Stuff. Well, it was fronted by Ian Williams. Yeah. Who uh, my brother was in a band with called Don Caballero. I didn't know there was a connection. Yeah, there's a connection. Oh man! Deep, deep. Oh, and Storm is trash. My nerdiest friends in college loved loved Dog Cab. Dog Cab, yeah, they were. They were <laughs> Dog Cab was awesome, deep. man. In its day, they yeah. were incredible. Anyhow, all right, moving along. The future. Please. Let's talk about the future. Let's, or, I mean, if you, you want don't to keep, you don't so keep going into this, like, the past. Well, guys, you want to talk about Lou Reed. you guys have bought into the smartwatch trend. We love smartwatches right here. Look at here this. Here in the future. Look at this. I can tell. Hey, what, what are, I, I got the tech? seconds. I got the seconds. I got the minutes. Speaking of smartwatches, uh, Wall Street Journal. Was it Wall Street Journal or Jessica Lesson? I can't doesn't, remember if we, we cited Wall Street Journal or former Wall Street Journal uh, reporter Jessica Lesson. Uh, reported this week um, Google Watch coming very soon, running Google yeah. Now, yeah. which I think I will say is the best idea for a smartwatch I've heard yet. Because Google Now is the best well, ambient the information only, the service. Only, the only problem with that is that... I cannot get Google Now to understand me or do anything Paul, ever relevant to he, me. Like, but other people struggle with that. I don't know how you're expecting a computer to do it. Oh, I understand him. You're really mean. You know that? <laughs> you know what? This guy, this guy came all the way to New York for I, us. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I go to Colorado. I'm helping out children, yeah. you know? He's taking them out. And Google now doesn't know what I'm up to. <laughs> they don't understand that. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. I'm taking them out, yes. <laughs> I mean, start taking care of them. <laughs> If I lived in San Francisco yeah, 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 I get it. and worked at a coffee shop or from a coffee okay, shop. Okay, let's not be racist. 
<laughs> then Google now might understand me a little uh, you're better. Like, you know, if I was one of these hipsters in San Francisco yeah. in a coffee shop. Like, taking yeah, care of children, guy. Google now. Like, hey, you know what? Let me tell you about Paul, Google I'm not now. saying, look, here's what I'm saying. Because developers saying, don't have I children. I might struggle. Let me and tell I think, you something. I think other people might struggle. That's the ultimate But you look development. happier than anybody that I know. Yeah. Right. Well, he's, he's more lazy. He's on easy street. It's, it's a facade. Yeah. Is no, it really? Very what's wrong? Like, tell uh, us what's wrong. Are you sad? No. Why? I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm really, really... Stoked to be back in New York. Are you? Just What's going on, home? Let's take a know. side. Let's take a little. Let's take go down a little side road. I know you're not going to like this at all. No, I love. What's going roads. on with your love life? So Wait, so you definitely don't like this. Super Come single. on, ladies. We got all the whole package right <laughs> here. On, yeah. Successful. Although, Ish. although, and you know what? You know what? This is probably good looking. Very good looking. Kind of like a young Brad Pitt. Uh, uh, That's true. Faithful. Faithful on several it's levels. True noted. Uh, strong, good with kids, good, good with great kids. with kids, Amazing strong kids. convictions. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, if I were a lady out there on the scene, mm -hmm. I feel like that we've done this several times. And we have. Show. I want yeah. Paul. I want this to be the, the 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 lightning rod which captures the electricity of Paul's future relationship. <laughs> Paul, what, what, Paul what, Miller what, is what, out there. You want what, the credit? That's the thing. What though. we're saying I is, would, I the, mind the next time the she falls asleep on the airplane. You should fall asleep. Yes, yes. Cl close your eyes together. And pretend to like cuddle. Like, <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm, so, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Exactly. Oh, you're reading the same book as me. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't notice oh, you're reading you uh, something really cool. Like, do you think Khalil Gibran's The Katniss Prophet dies at the end? You guys are Rough. both reading the prophet. Do you prophet. think Katniss dies at the end? No. Hey, hey, hey! I was whoa, like, whoa, like, whoa, whoa. Started. Spoiler alert! I've only, I've only how is, how is a question? I did this a I didn't spoil anything. Well, I don't even I don't even consider that because I've only read the first book and seen the first movie. Yeah, but everybody <laughs> dies, Josh. Well, I started reading the second book. Everybody, and I was like, I started reading the second book, and think, I was like, Do you think Josh Topolsky dies in the end? I was like, No. I was reading the second book, and I was like, Oh, wait a second. Do you think this the is last not line very of the series good. is we're not hungry anymore. Like so <laughs> he knows. He's read it. It's not a <laughs> bunch of like hunger jokes. Yeah, they're not hungry. Oh, yeah. That's not what it's about. <laughs> you, Wait, you, you, why isn't you need it that? To read, you need to read these books. <laughs> right. It's not like the, it's like the why seven dwarves. Like like she's, she's like, she's like, I <laughs> killed her with my spear, and then finally I had a steak to eat. Like that. Well, there is some yeah. eating in it, though. You have to. Yeah, they do eat. They yeah. do eat. And we all die. And then we, we all, all die. die. Maybe. Eventually. No, but aren't we all Except in a way? Except for Ray Aren't we all in a way then reborn? And other murderers. Hold that thought. He's He's good looking. He's funny. <laughs> he's well read. This is our worst he show likes, of all time. No, this is a great. I think this is great. Can we see what's going on on Twitter? What's the temperature on this show? Let's take the temperature of Twitter right now. I like you guys are going to the. You're going to your. Consoles. By the way, like what 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 is it gonna take for people to feel like I'm 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 back all the time? Like people people ask. What's it me, gonna take? What happened to Paul? You'd have to be. You'd have to be. I tweet like a back. few like a few times a week. Yeah, but there's a lot of threads on the in the forums. They're like. What happened to Paul? And then somebody's like, he's working on his book and he's living in Colorado. And then like, there's always like a few people that remind people, and they they're like, oh, oh sorry. Thank I'm you for that. I don't know. Like, I just feel like I've been trying to prove that I exist. Like the whole do year I was name? off the internet, I was trying to prove people I exist. Yeah, oh, and it and didn't now work. I still have to it do it. Work. Do we have a name for Paul fans? Like, like I know that Fallon fans are called it's foul like, foul pals. Foul pals. I'm good. Do you have a name? No. <laughs> Paul, Paul Bros. <laughs> I All right, thought Paul. there was Polygon. That's not it. That's not anything. <laughs> yeah. not, you just say the word. It's, it's the name <laughs> of a, a, a word. website named after uh, me. Any, yeah. What's our temperature here? Crazy. What are people saying? Uh, this is by far the best worst one. Okay, what else? No, uh, I kind of got to search for it again. You know what? If you're okay. watching the Vergecast right now, I want real-time feedback on Twitter right this second. People think it's awesome. Uh, somebody else is single. Someone, someone claims to be a developer with five kids, and they take pictures. Well, they obviously don't work at Google. <laughs> I mean, what? That's not fun. Is that the laugh so journal, too, so buddy? Yeah. yeah, dude. <laughs> you know, if I could eat anything, I, anything at all right now, what would it be? I'm just trying to think, because I feel very hungry. A pizza cone? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. I've never had one of those. We've been talking really about them for a long time. I ordered lunch, and then like I sit down at lunch, and I'm not hungry, so I like had it packed it up to go. And then, like, an hour later, I'm super hungry. Classic. Suicide meeting. Only in New York. Only, right only, <laughs> only in New York, right, just Paul? Total. Total. <laughs> total. Just go. All right, what are the, what are the topics we have to cover? We, it's us. We just have to talk about us, which I would say we've been doing a very good job of. Let me tell you something. When we started mm. The Verge. Yeah. It's two years, man. Mm -hmm. It's been two years. Well, it'll be officially two years tomorrow. In several I know hours. that. I know that two years ago on this day, we were, we were panicked. in 
full on panic mode. And I was like, I was literally saying things to people like, I'm pretty sure there's an email or a call at some point where I said to our court at the time, our staff was like 12 or something. Yeah. And I was like, just get ready. They're yeah. going to, they're going to hate it. You're going to get hate mail. They're going to say that it's the worst thing ever. Mm. Cause I have, I'm always like kind of be, I'm my own worst critic. Like, yeah. Uh, I gotta say it's pretty incredible. First off, it's great, Paul. Seriously, like it's great to have you back. I'm psyched that you're back in New York. I didn't actually know that. No. It, to be totally serious for a moment, it's awesome that you're back, and I hope that we see more of you. And I hope that I these guys, see these guys, see more of you in the near future because you know you're a wonderful man, Thank and we you. love you. Um, but uh, but you know, two years ago we launched uh, The Verge, and it seemed like. I mean, people were, they said things like, why would anybody do yeah. that? Mm. People were like, why would anybody launch a site like that? Like, why would you want to, we got, we got Wired, we got Gizmodo, we got Engadget, why would, who needs The Verge or whatever, you know? And um, two things I think have happened over this, this period of time. One, like, w the question to why would anybody do it, like, I think it's been answered. Like, we mm. answered it, like, I think we, we know why somebody yeah. would do it. Because you can make something different and better and, mm. and strange and that isn't like the other stuff. And the other thing that's been answered is that, like, we've just started, you know, Matt Buchanan, you actually sent an email about this today. Um, Matt Buchanan wrote this great piece in The New Yorker is this the is this the site originally? Yeah, it's the first. That's the first day. Oh, Where yeah. are our ads? There's no ads on it. We couldn't even get <laughs> no advertisers. Money. Nobody yeah. believed. God, in look us. at this. So sad looking. It looks pretty so Well, we haven't used like. that uh, the big five in a long time. We haven't done five up in a long time. Yeah. But um, uh, the Matt Buchanan wrote this great piece about Mossberg and Pogue and sort of the yeah, next sure. generation of of technology writers. And it was like, you know what? It's not about like this nuts and bolts stuff. It's about how we live with this stuff and how we use it. And and I have to say, you know, he mentions us, which is very nice. But it is it does capture this whole idea that we had when we started working on this, which was can we write about more than just cool gadgets or awesome futuristic things? Like, can we write about the way we live with this stuff and how we use it and why and how it affects our lives and, and, and um, you know, the culture that has been yeah. created because of it. Mm -hmm. And that stuff has become increasingly part of everything that everybody talks about. It's really weird to have seen and for us to have felt where, like, okay, we have to go here yeah. because it's part of this this big circle well, look, of things. It's funny because I, I, I joked on Twitter today. It's like... Right now, I think of our president's legacy as the NSA, a broken healthcare website, oh, Obama, yeah, and, uh, and letting, and letting me use care. no, and letting me use uh, gadgets on, on airplanes, and those are all technology. <laughs> well, stories. those are our stories. I mean, there's also there's, I mean, obviously a lot of other stories. But those I mean, are like if you look at what like political news is in this country today. Yeah, those are the stories. No, those are big stories, and it is it is very much tied up in 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 how we live and our in tech in the technology mm -hmm. we use and how we use it to, to live. Right. Well, one, and one thing though, I will say that so we we had the idea of what we thought was the right tech website, and then we built it, and it turned out to be right, and that was awesome. Turn, I would say it turned out to be like eighty percent right. I but, I actually think it turned out to be. I think we had notions yeah. of where that a go. lot of those notions were right. But like when you started, as we have grown and you start to get more specific, we turn those notions into like well, justifiable, and, certifiable things. And that's what I want to say. Like, you know, I was working what we launched and then I, six months later I left the internet. <laughs> yeah. I went, it was I great. That like, was great. A, a <laughs> Paul very, had so many good ideas. He's like, by thing. the way, I'm out of here. And now I've been, you know, living in Colorado. I'm not working at the verge right now. And I read The Verge, and I see things go up on The Verge, and I remember how hard it was to make those things when I was involved with making it. <laughs> and there's enough of them that go up every day on The Verge. I'm like, who has the time? And so I, I just think there's like... <laughs> I like it. It's <laughs> like a complaining it's like, like old it's, man. I mean, like, it's who like, could do it's this? It's one thing to have a good idea, but to like... D d I, I just want to say like to everybody who has worked at The Verge, like... I, you know, I read this site and I know how hard it is to do all of the things to make all of those words go down inside of your computer <laughs> and to do photos and the layouts and, you know, the site stays up during live. And like there are so many crazy things that people work so hard at and they go on the verge all the time. And it was, so it was a good idea. But the fact that it continues to be executed in just better and better ways, more and more, is just so right. awesome. To and we, and we're, you know, thanks for saying that, Paul. I mean, but you know, 
Good Sorry. job on that that burn pit layout, Josh. I had <laughs> he did it himself. I was <laughs> hand coded by I was by Jay up all love, night. Love all uh, night. How do I get this animation? And we're okay. only gonna we have a little thing. We're only gonna get bigger and crazier in the Whoa. next. But next I will year. say I will say this um, uh, on all this stuff, you know, and, and I don't want to like make this a thing where we talk about ourselves because that's not what we do. Like I will say this, you know, we wanted to make something cool that we loved for us and did the things that we thought would be great and interesting. And I think that we've done that and we continue to do that. Um, the fact that other people like it and love it and get mad when we change things or do new things because they want to make sure we protect uh, what The Verge is, hmm. um, is extremely meaningful, you know, like really, really monumental to me. Uh, and without being like super serious, like we're a website on the internet, we cover news and sometimes it's really important. Sometimes it's just kind of cool or fun or whatever, but to everybody here, to me and to you guys and to all the people in this room and, and who work at, on the verge and to up, everybody upstairs, you know, it has been like an investment in years of our lives to make something that is, is, uh, that is lasting and it seems to be working and that's like a huge deal. Uh, and I hope that we, you know, continue to to do that and to continue to provide, to to build something and to make something that is um, that people love and that people want to read and that people find value in. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, the thing that and we say this all the time, but the thing that we make is not for it's not just for like an audience; it's for ourselves. And and so we keep kind of challenging ourselves to make something good and that we really love and feel um, feel is worthy of. Uh, you know, your time. Of you, the people. Of you, the people, yeah. So um, anyhow, so with that said, I'm, I'm very excited. And yeah. and uh, to everybody at The Verge, to the team that is here, to people who have been here and have gone, like, you know, we this is a team effort 100%, like has been, I'm getting a little choked up, actually. <laughs> The three whiskeys. Yeah. Um, keep about no, it. but it has been a total team effort and something that like when we did it, when we started it, there are people, let's put it this way. There are people who were with us um, early on uh, when, before we started and we're like, we're doing this and like, you're crazy. That's, yeah. that's not going to work. And we went and did it anyhow and it worked. Yeah. And and it is not only working, but it is thriving. And so it's thriving. screw you, naysayers. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is thriving as part of, and I have to say, like as as part of a company that is building a bunch of other stuff that's really great and really inspiring. And you know, w when I look at like what we've done, you know, when we came to, at the time it was SB Nation. They were yeah. a sports site, and people are like, "What are you doing at a sports site?" And it became Vox, and Vox has become. All of these brands now, it's Polygon, it's The Verge, it's SB Nation, all of the blogs under SB Nation. And, you know, I think in the future you'll see that there are new there are new things. Yeah. And it is pretty incredible to be part of it and to have had it's been a ride. Josh's, we have this Josh's male, <clears throat> male grooming site. Yeah. My male grooming site, uh, Josh, joshshashair.net. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, where I'm finally going to solve the mystery. Jo of, Josh Chops. I'm finally going to solve the mystery of whatever is going on in this region of my hair. Oh like, my god! If I can just solve this. If we actually end this vergecast with an appropriate callback, I'll be so proud. Solve. Of us. I, I'm it's doing only taking us a hundred episodes. I'm doing excited to solve for X, but the X is just this region of my can hair. Can I say something about my hair? Yeah. No. I got this haircut, and you guys didn't make fun of me for it. No, what, no, we you said good the whole time. Time. Oh, and thank you. It's God. awesome. Yeah. We it's complimented great. you. Can we I know. Run? I'm Look, so oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Got, before, we, well, of... before we run that, and Paul, you're two things great. to run. I just want to say, all right, yeah. chill out. It's just like, it was my one <laughs> right, goal in life. I chill say, out, I wanna, ghost voice. I want to say, yeah, chill out, voice. No one can hear it except me. I want to say one other thing as an, as a, as a, as a, uh, important connective piece to what I just said about like this team who built this thing. And your hair. And my hair, which is a mess. Uh, we couldn't have done any of this. We would not be here talking about it. Nobody, it wouldn't matter at all without people who have supported us from like when we did This Is My Next before The Verge existed. And then we did when we started The Verge, who's kept reading and have we have grown. I mean, our audience size has grown so much over the last two years, it's nuts. But like, you know, We've just kept doing the things we thought were good and we, that we liked and that we thought would be interesting to read. It is the audience that has kept this started here and kept mm -hmm. coming back who who has made it possible to do. So I would just say like thank you, yeah, whoever you are, 
you millions and millions of insane lunatics. I would who like continue to personally to... thank the Microsoft tribe and okay. the Android <laughs> army. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because the I feel, worried uh, factions. I, of I, yeah, I, I no. I, in particular, I feel uh, I feel in danger for my life every day, but also <laughs> very safe. It's weird. It's a no, strange feeling. Those are the guys, are like people who get mad at us for doing yeah. stuff. People I'm like, care. you care enough to get mad? That's amazing. Yeah. But millions of people have 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 and will and apparently continue to read the site, and that's incredible. It is so kind thank of crazy you. that we named it Microsoft Tribe and Android Army because when you when you really come well, back we to it, we originally called it Microsoft, but they didn't like that, <laughs> which was a great <laughs> which Douglas I was Copeland cool because it was a Douglas Copeland yeah, reference. Android Army, they didn't like that, that either. And by the way, that book is amazing. No, we actually changed it. It's Googleplex now. It's Googleplex. Yeah, we, we keep changing your names. Yeah, pretty soon, pretty soon we're gonna change. The Apple uh, uh, people without a nation, people nation without a state. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Anyhow, I was just saying. We're just, All right, there's just, a lot coming next year. <laughs> we have, there's surprise. What you might be surprised to know we're not just quitting today. Phantom voice in my ear. What, what is? There's, what are we? Now what is are we going to show people to watch the? Okay, guys. Real. Here is here is a taste of the Verge. Enjoy. It's sweet. <laughs> I did not think anybody would see that video. I put it on YouTube and it got like so many hits. When you dream about a future that you can enable with science and technology, then an innovation culture takes root in your nation. You get one shot. If you go to air and it's not right or there's a mistake, millions of viewers see it. Roll red, upright track red. In the NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select Victor Oladipo. The Verge is awesome, okay? It will blow your freaking mind out through the back of your head. And your mind will go flying into a wall and that wall will explode. And the explosion of the wall will rain down glitter on everybody on the street beneath you. And they'll look up in the sky with tears in their eyes and they're gonna say, what's happening? And someone will shout, it's the Verge. Whatever that is, I want, oh my God in heaven, what's happening? Whoa. <laughs> We really? decided, we're like, look how slick our shit is. <laughs> and then, boom, we screwed it up. Uh, Paul, by the way, Paul had to leave. <laughs> Paul had to leave. He was like, I've got, he's like, I've got to go to the bathroom so bad. He just bolted. Anyhow, I think it's a fitting, by the way, I think very fitting to end our show on this note. He just left. Paul, Paul is gone again. But you know, not forgotten. No, and we're not joking. He's not no, he's come back. He's not coming back. Tricks. This, 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 just bailed. This is not a. This is not an illusion. He actually left. He <laughs> he was having an intense feeling of pressure in his bladder. <laughs> and, and had to relieve it. Anyhow, that is the Verge cast. That is the 100th Verge and cast. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we're so we really do apologize. What? I don't you know, know what it happened. It seems like there. we built such a great product, and then and, and, and then and, and then we then do this, this every week. And then this is why are we doing this to people? <laughs> I don't understand it. You don't understand it. But the point is, it's happening. Yeah. It's happening over and over again, like a recurring nightmare that you can't escape. Uh, that's the Verge cast, the 100th Verge cast. We'll be back next week for the 100 and first. The 101st, 101th? <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's time for us to stop uh, this. Uh, the, the next Verge cast. And, uh, and as always, frankly, I, I think it bears uh, saying now. Yeah. Uh, as always, from now, oh boy, is Paul back? Paul's coming back. I'll, we'll wait until he gets back. What? Come on, man. Hey, What's your next? You sit down and tell the people what your next move is, and we're gonna we're gonna wrap up. No, he's in I New York now. So bad. Yeah, he really, really enjoyed that. Okay. Anyhow, we're wrapping up. That's the hundredth Verge cast. And uh, one thing I can say to you that has been true from day one and will be true is that there is no quarter for your family. <laughs> I'm coming for them, and they can't escape. So just accept it. So thank you very much for listening. And I wish you and yours all the best on this upcoming weekend. Only the most joyous and and uh, all playful celebrations just... should be had. As always, I wish you and yours all the best for the upcoming weekend and week ahead. And, uh, and until then, I wish you and yours the very best for the coming days and weeks ahead. The very best over this holiday weekend. It's not a holiday weekend, but that doesn't matter. Why do matter. you sound like Vincent Price? And I wish all of you in your homes... Happiness. It's the very best in the upcoming days and weeks. Yeah, it could be days and weeks ahead as you 
uh, you know, live out your final uh, moments here on the planet. And as always, I wish you and your family a great weekend alone. You know, I, I, I hope that you enjoy a safe and secure weekend in your homes. I'm sure there's uh, nothing to fear in your home this weekend. I would not, if I were you, I would not uh, uh, leave any of your doors or windows unlocked this weekend uh, because it could cause uh, horrible danger to your family. You know, whatever you do, <laughs> don't turn out your bedroom lights this weekend. And as always, I wish you and yours the very best for a happy and healthy weekend where nothing horrible will happen to you or your family, I'm sure. You know, I think... Don't worry about what's in the backseat of your car. It's probably nothing. All the best for what will be a very hard and uh, upsetting weekend. We'll be back next week. And as always, uh, I wish you and your family the very best in this uh, awful time. The very best in this uh, troubling holiday uh, week. Uh, no matter what happens to your family, I'm sure you'll be all right. And uh, as always, uh, 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 your family is in danger and there's nothing you can do about <laughs> it, but I'm sure everything will end up all right. I'm so sorry about your family. And as always, I wish you and your beautiful new family all the best. And uh, until then, I think we're all going to be all right. All the best in what can only be described as a nightmare hell ride. You know, enjoy your family while you got them. Yeah. And uh, that's it. And I wish uh, you and your family all the very best in this, uh, uh, for this weekend and, and beyond. <laughs> it's like I, got <laughs> I wish you and your family all the best. Lock and load. Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great.